Okay, hello. We should be good some live and everything like that. And I can cut this a little bit on YouTube because I like to have my intros be nice and long. But hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another fun episode of Always Be Brewing, a fun little commander stream where we brew some beautiful decks together. Um, so I know lately that I've been doing a lot of Ikoria brews, but... Um, I kind of put feelers out there on Twitter, specifically, what should I build? I'm not really sure. Um, trying to figure out things that I want to get going, looking good on here. Um, and I had some really good suggestions. Let me adjust my lighting a bit. Fix that. So the suggestions were really great, and one of them um, actually really stuck out to me the most. It was Dalakos. Um, and I've actually been really drawn to this, um, this card for a while. I haven't really figured out why I've been drawn to it. I'm not really an artifacts person. I do actually really like Is It though. Is It makes me feel happy and warm inside. I'm a locust god girl, so you know, that's kind of what I do. Um, but this is a particularly interesting commander because it is, first of all, it's an Is It Merfolk. There's not many of them. I think there's only like one other, Jorian Rune Diver. Um, this one, however, taps for two colorless. But you can only spend this mana to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. And then that beautiful, beautiful line below it says, Equip creatures you control of flying in haste. Those are beautiful, beautiful words that are music to my ears. I love flying and I love haste. So what can we do to make this really work and very really flow and be fun and nice? So I decided that since we are going to be doing some brewing today, why not brew the beautiful Dalakos? Um, thank you, Shivam, for recommending Dalagos to me. You kind of gave me a little bit of a push that I really needed to kind of start brewing this wonderful, beautiful little creature right here. So, as always, we will be using um, Scryfall as our guide. Um, I really like Scryfall as a deck building tool. Um, the stream is also sponsored by the wonderful people at TCG Player. Um, and if you are very interested in seeing this um, deck kind of teased apart a little bit more, past the brewing process and there will be an article about this deck posted either right now as you are reading this article or um in six days so you should keep an eye out for that and without further ado let's go ahead and get to brewing i like to go and right here get a new deck beautiful we're doing commander after all um let's see the generated name fruity cucumber combo 59 i love it already let's see there we go. Thank you, Sam. I really appreciate that you like the overlay. I've been trying to make sure that everything looks nice and pretty and neat. Um, and I know that we can't put Scoop Mob in here because Scoop Mob is not is it. But rest assured, we will find a place for Scoop Mob one day. Scoop Mob does live on in our hearts, though. So let's see. We got Dalakos here. Um, go ahead and open up another tab. Fun thing that I actually really like is that there's going to be a lot of tabs used in this deck building process. So the first thing I see when looking at this, artifacts, artifacts. So obviously gotta be an artifact deck. Then I see equipped. So I'm thinking equipments, just equipments. Now, of course, we're gonna have other creatures in here, but I really like the concept of equipments. Um, this is an interesting take because usually, mm, so you gotta type smart. I did not type smart. Um, blue, red, colorless. At most, these colors. And so the reason why we're doing that is because I want to get some good keywords in here. Cards that like to. Ah, oh, not equipment. Equipment. There we go. I want to find really nice things in these colors. Maybe like tutors, things that attach. There we go. I knew we could get there, I just had to put my heart and mind into it instead of talking. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, <laughs> Sam, yes, Moon Glove Extract is your thing, and I would dare not take that from you. I promise you I'm not going to take that from you. Living Weapon would be pretty powerful, says chat. So let's see. Let's see. This is why we open multiple tabs, because we go on multiple tangents here. Living Weapon. Let's see. How come? 
Is that not a real card? Oh, a real card. This is also something that happens. Yeah, I... I don't have a living weapon. I do not believe that is a card. Yeah, I don't have that up on here. And maybe if I type in weapon, let's see what comes up. Um, legacy weapon, but we can't do that. Um, renowned weaponsmith actually does seem um pretty cool. I do actually like that. The day is going lovely. Thank you for asking. Let's see. God, this is I should wear my glasses during my streams, but I just never do that because I don't ever learn. Brasquire was in an intro pack I got when I was younger, and it's good and cute. Living Weapon is an ability. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I was, like, confused for a second. I do actually like Renowned Weaponsmith, so I'm going to, like, pop that in here because it basically does the thing that Dalkus does. We can always take everything out, by the way. This is not going to be, like, set in stone once I type it in. It is set in stone. So now that I know that Living Weapon is not a thing, I'm getting excited to some of these. Can't put that in there. That's sad. Okay, gotta search. I could have just clicked advanced up there. But I like to take the extra step, you know. That's right, I remember. I did have one card that did have the ability. I think it was Scythe Claw. Um, equipped creature gets a 4 4 and has a vigilance and lifelink. That's actually really awesome. Uh, equipped creature gets XX, where X is the number of creature cards in all graveyards. Um, 1 1. Hmm. Flash right. Can't really do that. Um, good creature gets zero one and has sacrificed this creature. This creature deals one damage to target creature or player. Da da da. Seth Claw. That's kind of nasty. <laughs> Actually, one of my. Uh, maybe we will use Seth Claw. Deck name. Deck name idea. Redfish gives you wings. <laughs> Y'all are already ahead of me tonight. This is great. Okay. So I'm going to keep living weapons set aside right here because that is actually a really good idea and I really like that. So let's go through these right here. These are things that just blatantly say equipment within the um, oracle text here. So whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you may attach any number of target equipments to it. I actually really like that, so I'm thinking we're going to pop that boy in there. What's the mana... Could you go for a one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish? <laughs> Y'all love naming these decks. That makes me so happy. I don't like that card. We're not going with that. Each non creature, non equipment, artifact is an equipment with equip X. I gotta read this again. Hold on. Whoa. Each non creature, non equipment, artifact is an equipment with equip X, where, X, where equip creature gets X plus zero. Where X is, mm, that's not bad. I like Brass Squire. It's a good thing. Dang it, now I want to dig out Dr. Seuss books. You can always dig them out and have some casual reading while we build some fun decks, everybody. When carry weight comes into play and un unattached enchanted equipment, you control enchanted equipment. Eh. Champion of the Flame, it gets 2 2 for each aura and equipment or turf. Sorry, I'm getting really excited. I'm liking all these things I'm finding. Could you imagine challenging someone else to make a different deck with a Dr. Seuss name and challenging each other? <laughs> you could do it. Um, oh, the places you go could be like, um, thinking like wheels or discards, like, oh, the places your hand will go and then you discard and discard. Green eggs and ham could be like, um, like, uh, Nikia of the, I think it's Forgotten Way. I feel really bad for forgetting her name. It could be really cool. I don't know. I'm getting excited now. Uh, Golem Skin Gauntlets. Is that the one that turns all artifacts into equipment? Seems fun in this deck with artifact lands. Let's see. Which one are you talking about? Which card? Oh. Yeah. Bludgeon. Well, the thing is, like, Bludgeon Brawl, I don't think it would be good with artifact lands because the artifact would be zero. So a crit creature would get zero. Rex is the artifact CMC, because if we're doing artifact lands, it would be zero. I can set this aside, though. Um, Godo. Let's see. That's also cool, too. There's a lot of really cool things that I'm really liking about this. When Godo Warlord enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an equipment card and put it onto the battlefield. If you do, shuffle your library. 
Um, when it attacks for first time, each turn and tap it. And all samurai you control after this phase, there is an additional combat phase. What do you think about Godo? Your soul ring can be used for punching, but only a little bit. Because soul ring is only one mana. Um, what do you think about Godo? Let's see. Okay. Grip of Fire Reese is gain control of target equipment. And then create a zero, zero, black ring, zero, zero, no. And this is hard because I know a lot of good equipment stuff, but I'm trying to figure out like the gain control things are going to be really good here. Soul Ring Brass Knuckles. <laughs> this beat face, beat face. Um, God, this is going to be a lot. I don't normally do equipments. My first ever artifact deck was Emery Lurker of the Lock, and that one was a bit of a stretch. Um, you may have Master of Ingenuity under the battlefield as a copy of any equipment on the battlefield. That's not bad. Master work of ingenuity. This is gonna be tough, you guys. I can feel it. Is it living weapon? Um, ba 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 ba. It gets one one for each equipment attached to it. I feel like that'd be kind of cool because it would get flying in haste. Um. Whenever Ogre, Gear Grabber attacks, gain control of target equipment opponent controls until end of turn, attach it to it, lose control of it, and attach it. ETBs, restore target equipment. Now, the Cauldra stuff has always kind of intrigued me. I remember seeing that in a binder long ago. It does get flying in haste, though, with the commander. It's free equip. So what are you thinking? There's so much we could do here. Oh, this right here. Uh, zero. Attach target equipment you control to this guy. Activate this ability only anytime you could cast a sorcery. I kind of like that actually. Let's see that. Beloved princess holds equipment real well. Let's see. I do like this card actually a lot for this deck. So that is a good equip cost. I keep thinking that I want to attach these equipment onto my commander, and that's nice and dandy, but, like, for commander damage, we also have to, I also have to remind myself, specifically me, that, you know, I can build around other creatures and not just him. Yeah, Beloved Princess is white, so I don't think we can do that. There's a lot of good white equipped stuff, and we just don't have the ability to do that. Let's see... Goto is pretty fun as a budget tutor, expensive stuff tutor, but he's spooky with Helm of the Host. Okay, okay, let's take a peek at that. Okay, um, this is why I have multiple tabs. Um, Helm of the Host. If you have comment on your turn, create a token of copy. I actually really like that. Let's put in a Helm of the Host. And paste. And then I'm gonna do, so I don't forget, because I have a habit of forgetting Bludgeon Brawl there. Um, boop -ba doo Cut that out. Then we'll add in Godo, because Godo does seem to be a good tutor, and tutors are kind of important. Okay, that's that was not enough. That was not enough. The samurai thing is the only thing that makes me a little bit worried about it. But, you know, you never know. At some point, our gen Argentum armor is going to be mentioned. Might as well get it out of the way now. Whoa. There's some, there's some hatement for our gentle armor. I can feel it. Let me just look at this really quickly. Ooh, that's cool. Hold on. What's, what are these? I know this is equipment center because my friend built a deck around it. At the beginning of comment on your turn, for each or an equipment attached to this guy, you get a 3-1 red elemental token. Um, That seems kind of amazing. Wouldn't you agree? I really like that, actually. God, we're already going heavy in red. This is gonna be a really red heavy deck. We need to balance this out. Well, I need to balance this out. When Bullshot Battle Matter enters the battlefield, it touches all equipment on the battlefield to it. That's not bad. And we can always cut it later if you guys are like, mm, not feeling a chase. This is a bad idea. And you know what? If it's a bad idea, we'll figure it out. So let's go look at our Gentum armor. Now that we've finished looking through these. I know what that does too, and for the life of me, my brain just cannot remember Argentum armor. Why? Oh, it's because I can't spell it. Argentum armor. Oh, 
<laughs> I can see why you said. <laughs> I can see why you said. Let's just get it out of the way. Because this is kind of nasty. And you're a nasty person. Just kidding. I think this is a great idea. It's a good threat. Because um, it's just when it attacks. I don't even have to deal damage. So I can destroy target permanent, which destroys blockers. I can also destroy lands. Land destruction. Let's add it in. I'm going to move, move this over here so I don't keep forgetting. Oh gosh, Argentum armor. I'm going to have a lot of equipments in here, guys. Okie dokie. Also, how am I sounding volumized? I don't want to sound too terribly loud. I've been fiddling a lot with my overlay and everything to make sure everything sounds good. Okay. Argentum armor. See, tabbing out, just working on a joke. It's kind of weird because one of those things it has to offer is flying, which is slightly redundant because Dalakos. That's true, but blue also gives us something that we desperately need, which is card draw, same for red. Um, I do, I am very thankful for this, that when I um, built Emery, I do have a slight knowledge of artifacts. Um, artifact stuff based off of blue. God bless um, that we. I do have that knowledge because I would actually be very much a fish out of water if I did not have this. So, um, typing artifact just out of the search. So I gotta be really careful because stuff like, like, Blink Moth Infusion, like, first of all, let's just ignore that CMC. But, like, mm, I don't know about that. Artifacts. Your creatures can help cast those spells. Each creature you tap while casting an artifact spell pays for one or one mana other creatures got. Mm. Corner Monitor is pretty sweet. I think we are going to have some artifact creatures in here. Sounds good to me for mobile. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, Actually, no. Hold on. Yeah. Where's my babe? Spell cost one last cast. Blah, blah, blah. Mill. There's a good way to get stuff back from our, from our artifacts. Graveyard. I think about adding Emery in here. She's a good way to get, like, um, if somebody, like, Vandal Blast the board or something, we can get my stuff back with her. Because usually... You know, minus Argentum armor, because that's a little bit costly. But, um, four, one, three, three. Well, those are, yeah, it's still artifacts. Let's do Emery for Kurlock. I got a ch thumbs up from chat, which is a positive sign that we are on the right track. So thank you. Okay. Um, I've always loved in Soul Artifact, like as a, as a, as a concept. Uh, Fabricate. Duh. It's a good tutor. I can't spell. How do you keep track of that? Keep track of what? I'm so sorry. My brain. Let's see. If you animate an equipment, can you equip it to itself? Is that a thing that is allowed? I don't believe you can do that. I would also agree with the job. I don't think you can do that. That seems too much of like a, a rules loophole that would give many people headaches. <sighs> Let's see. Don't also forget Buried Ruins for Artifact Recursion. Let's look it up. Buried Ruins. Why? Y'all. Maybe it's Ruin. There it is. Buried Ruin. Tap two, tap sack, it return. Target artifact graveyard to your hand. That's the important thing. Buried Ruin. Let's go. You could run the Minotaur that interacts with the Maze of Skophos and the Maze of Skophos for flavor reason. Y'all are killing me. Kemba, the car region. Kemba's white, I believe. I don't think I can run Kemba. Unless Kemba turned red or blue or something. Yeah, I cannot run Kemba. I'm sorry, y'all. That is a good that is a good thing for a Dr. Seuss thing we were talking about earlier, though. I do like that. Awesome! I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, let's see. Um, I lost my mental groove. We did add Burry Ruin. Let me go ahead and add Mountain Island just because we gotta. Bah, 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 bah. Um, so this right here, I think it's gonna get a little bit, um, quite. Brain hurting. Hmm. Hmm. 
I do actually really like Mirrodin Besieged as a card. Is that really necessary in here? Because I run Mirrodin Besieged in my Emery deck, and Mirrodin Besieged is funny. Also gets around, around commander attacks in an interesting way. I think, I'm glad you like the new layout. Thank you. Okay, hold on. Ooh, we got a lot going on in chat. Fires of Inventions overperforms and equip. Oh my god. That is such a good idea. Hold on. I've never run that card either. Oh god, that's why. This is why. why. Let's see. Let's see. You can also you can cast spells only during your turn. You can cast no more than two spells each turn. You can cast spells with CMC equal less number of land cards. Um, yeah. Let's add that in there. Okay. Cast the equipment for free, use the mana to equip. Smart. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we're doing we're doing Dalakos. So I'm gonna actually go back to the screen right here so you can see we're doing Dalakos right now. It's gonna be an interesting <laughs> way that we're doing this. So fingers crossed that this will be beautiful. I've always been attracted to this commander just because I really like the art. I like the concept. I like flying in haste. Locust God gives me flying in haste. It's kind of a good fit. Um, so let's see. Shark Typhoon. Everybody's everybody loves Shark Typhoon, even in a commander. I don't think that would be really good in here, to be quite honest. Uh, we would get tokens, it just doesn't really fit, but I see where you're going with this because we're going to be casting a lot of non-creatures. I will put it in the maybe board for now and then we can come back to it. So the general build concept we're doing is we're going to be doing equipments. So uh, this right here speaks most to me because um, yeah, it's like, oh, artifacts and all that fun stuff. I think equipment is going to be just better because we get more utility out of it. Flying in haste is really great, especially if you build off of really big creatures and get something really nasty. We have been, we actually have living weapons right here and we have not looked through all of them yet. I do like Scythe Claw for obvious reasons because Scythe Claw is like the big one. Hmm, let's see. Batter Skull, Scythe Claw. 4-4 Vigilance and Life I think, is thing, I think is pretty good, so let me just go ahead and plop that in. I should probably read what the card is. Batter Skull, not Battle Skull. Oh, Moon Silver Spear is an equipment that can make creature tokens. Um, so the deck list is right here. Um, yeah, let me zoom in. That's a smart idea. How about that? Is that better? This is why I was a little bit worried about having this new overlay. It's not being able to see it. So let's see. How does this look? This is why we practice. Awesome. Okay. Thank you guys. I appreciate the patience on this. Okay. So, oh my god. My brain, my brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. Battle, batter school. I can't say that. Um, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. This just kind of feels meh. This one has black. Um, so I don't know Uh, sacrifice this creature, this creature does one damage. Eh. Haste. We are stuff already is gonna have haste. You probably want to end up running more than three lands. Agreed with that. I just like to do lands last. I just do that so I can know what colors I need. Um, hmm. One cute ramp fixing is using guild globe and dalakos can be used to activate it not sure be good enough in the deck but something to keep in mind let's go ahead and type in guild globe on here we go i believe i know exactly is that from war of the spark it is from war of the spark hmm. it's a good way to get like Dude, my music is being very quiet my music being very quiet. Am I going crazy? Cool, the music's there. I just can't hear it. Um, hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and add Scythe Claw. There is the music. Also, is this easier to see, guys? Please let me know if it's not. I can make it bigger. Um, I can also tab out and make the thing bigger 
Thornbite staff might let you do some crazy machine gun mana shenanigans. I don't know what they'd be, but yeah, I'm gonna have a, let's see, like, let's see, what is this, shaman? He's an artificer. I don't know if that'll be too helpful for us because thorn bite is, it just doesn't feel like it would kind of fit. Um, I don't know how I would feel about this. So maybe not doing it. So let's see. A pinger like Tim or any one of the red flingers, basilisk collar, build your own fumigate. Possibly. So I can actually have this set on the side right here. I'll have it on the maybe board. Okay. Maybe generate lots of mana with a sack outlet and servos and stuff. So let's go ahead, since we brought that up. Bring out Thopter Spy Network. Um, which gives us card draw. When one or more artifact creatures control does combat damage to a player, draw a card. We're gonna have artifact creatures in here, and we're gonna create tokens. Um, War Sahili is the is a card that is pretty good equipment decks already. I would agree with that sentiment completely. What do you think about Thopter Spy Network when I pull up Sahili? Well, we can finally use Sahili. I've never built a deck with a Sahili in it. Well, I mean, like on like Ink Commander, I have it in Brawl, I have. Like it's pretty jank, but if you can find a way to make a creature die repeatedly, that gives you. Make your own astronaut's altar. Is any Sahili bad in an artifact deck? No. I agree with that. Okay, so let's look at all the Sahilis because we got a lot. This one is the one I know you're talking about because this is going to be great. So let's actually go ahead and add her in there. Um, let's form artifice here because that is great in any non creature deck. Um, obligatory bludgeon brawl suggestion. Let's see, we do have Bludgeon Brawl in Maybe Board. I think I'm probably gonna add it to the main board as we continue. Uptick, scry one. Deal one damage to each opponent. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature control. So it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Token gain taste. Exile it. Hmm. Search the library for up to three artifact cards with different names. That's not bad. We have the top X cards to your library. You may put in a number of artifact cards with CMC cost X or less. That's triple red though. That triple red makes me nervous. Um, the gifted uptick make a servo. Uptick next spell you cast costs one less to cast. For each artifact you control, that's pretty great. For each artifact you control, create a token. Let's copy of it. Those tokens gain haste. Hmm. Okay, we got a lot of going on in chat. Sort of vengeance for when flying and haste aren't really enough keywords. Oh, I'm forgetting the name of it, but. Roymoth? The legendary that makes you change token into another token? I do not know what that is. Can't miss Paradise Mantle, Prototype Portal. Pick your favorite weapon and make all of it. Brut oh, Brutaclad. Uh, what do you think about Thopter Spy Network while I go and look up all these cards y'all are? I remember Paradise Mantle. It's the art I really like, but I just can't remember what it does. Um, Quick Creature has... Tap, add one man of any color. Um, let's pop it in because I see what you're trying to do here. I do want to advise us, caution, that um, the past, because it's number four, um, we've had a lot of decks where we've been trying to generate infinite mana. Um, and while that's super fun, I don't want to make it the focus of this deck. Um, Thought is good if you're making artifact creatures, but if you're attacking with equipped non-artifact it won't trigger that's true but um we will be getting those tokens regardless and i already have some artifact creatures like armory automaton brass squire um but we can always set it to the side as always okay card drawn bodies are indeed fun okay let's see Already added the Paradise Mantle. Prototype Portal, let's see. Okay. Whenever it ETBs, you may exile an artifact card from your hand. Tap X, tap it. Create a token that's a copy of the exile artifact. X is the CMC cost of the card. Okay. That's easy, okay. I was expecting it to be scarier. <laughs> As in scarier to like play. 
Um, but that's actually not bad at all. Um, let's see. Travos, Traxos would be funny. I'll go peek through my city deck for some spicy thing. There are also the equipment where you can deal combat damage to a equipped creature. You make a copy of it. It's sweet with engine like with Skullheim. Oh my gosh, so many things happening. Bloodforged Axe, is that the card? And Soul Artifact. Mystic Forge is really good. Mystic Forge is actually really good. Um, let's go ahead. I, I, I do like Mystic Forge. Just getting distracted now as I discover creature type egg exists. Yeah, egg exists. Um, so let's see. Ah! Uh, before I forget, Bruticlad. Forgot what he does, but I know he's great. Creature tokens you control have haste. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 2 1 blue mirror artifact creature token. Then you may choose a token you control. If you do, each other token you control becomes a copy of that token. Um, Are we going to be making a lot of tokens in this deck? I don't think we're gonna make a lot of tokens in this deck. Um, I don't know about Bruticlad. Um, let's see, Nurox Stealth Suit. Has Shroud. That's good. Attach this to target creature you control or an equipped one. I do like that. Actually, Narok Stealth Suit seems pretty good. Shroud is nice. Okay. Bruticlad and Blood Forged. Let's see. Blood Forged Phylax. Whenever equipment creature whenever equipped creature deals common damage to a player, create a token that's a copy of Blood Forged Battle Axe. Shroud and instant speed attached. True. Step one, make tokens. Step two, make tokens have eggs. Step three, green eggs in hand. Um, Phyrexian and Jester is a big thing sometimes. Seconding Neuron Stealth Suit, Instant Speed, Equipment Protection is solid. Agreed. Um, okay. Maybe this is just me not understanding. Sell me on Bruticlad and Bloodforged Battle Axe. Because I really want to avoid, like making a like building a deck and then only having like this specific combo in it but nothing else really synergizing so like i would need to have more token generation other than these two cards um if i can get pretty clad so i get that um when i deal combat damage i can get the you know a token of blood forged over here and then each other token i control so i can just make a million blood forged um i already have fabricate right here let's see psi master thopterus is definitely one i've been thinking about there's also another one i've been thinking about which is padim we can sacrifice two artifacts draw a card card draws good is that psi let's go over here and i'll type in padim love padim she's amazing artifacts you can draw have hex proof important Begin your upkeep. You control an artifact with the highest CMC. Draw a card. That hex proof, I think, is super, 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 super important. So we should add it in. You can also make the axes into two one mirror. That's true. I just don't know if I'm sold on it because that's only two cards that make tokens in this deck. Um, Joyra, which Joyra? Love Joyra. Well, there's two. Unless I'm thinking there's three. No, there's two. Of the Gitu, exile a non-land card from your hand. Put four time counters. I'm going to think about that. Maybe the Weatherlight Captain, because I don't even want to think about time counters. Mirror Incubator is super useful, because you can activate it to pull the artifact lands and all the mana rocks out of your deck late game, so you can draw more cards that are actually relevant. And I agree with this. We get card draw out of her. See you. Um, let's see what Mirror Incubator does. It's a card I know. I just for some reason cannot remember it. Mirror Incubator. Can't t not Joyra Incubator. Oh my god. Mirror Incubator. Tap six. Tap sack it. 
Search your library for any number of artifact cards, exile them, then create that many one one nerd tokens. That does not get me my things. That just exiles them. I don't get my things from that. Um Ogre Menial? Doretti. Goblin Welder Brothers. Let's see. Choose target artifact a player controls and target artifact card in that player's graveyard if both targets are still legal. As the ability resolves, that player simultaneously sacrifices the artifact and returns the artifact card to the battlefield. That seems like shenanigans. Um. Wait, Goblin Welder or Goblin Engineer? Which one? Okay, both. Goblin Welder. Let me see what Engineer does as well. Goblin Engineer. UTVs, you may search your library for an artifact if you like it. Uh, put it on the graveyard. Uh, tap for red, tap it, sacrifice an artifact, turn. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's good. I do like that. At first, at first he had me there. Engineer does indeed fish. Um, Like, I never want to draw... An arcane signet, turn eight, though, yeah. I guess it does. I just don't really like the whole tap six, here's mere tokens, you know. That doesn't really feel right to me. Like, if I get that in my opening hand, that just kind of sits there. Um, and that's 12 mana to get one ones. So I'm not really sure how I'd feel about that. Um, let's take him to ready. You can only use one, but still good to see. Scrap Savant. Scrap to two cards, then draw that many cards. Beautiful. Sacrifice an artifact if you do return target artifact. Cool. That's good. I can just keep doing that. Get an emblem whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield. Return that card. Yep, I like it. Let's do the ready. ready. Scrap. Anyone mentioned trash for treasure? No one has mentioned that yet. Let's see what it does. As an additional cost, cast a spell, sacrifice an artifact, return target artifact from graveyard to the battlefield. Also a good idea. Let's see. Dreamstone, Hedron, probably works well with Dalakos and Bludgeon Brawl. Let's see. Can't spell to save my life. Adds three mana. Cool. Hold on. Works well with Delicos and Bludgeon Brawl. Okay, for a second I was like, mm, but then you said a Bludgeon Brawl and then you had me again. Yeah, I, I do. I do think that's a good idea. It does cost too much, but if we do have a. Uh, Bludgeon Brawl, then it'd be pretty great because we do have stuff like Argentum Armor. Um, loop Wafers, Bobble for Ramp if nothing is happening. I do know what Wayfarers does, but let's go ahead and pull it up. Tap 2, Sack it, search over for a basic land card. Do we need the ramp though? I mean, maybe. I have equipment. This is hard. Because whenever I build uh, uh, equipment decks, I'm always like hesitant to do mana rocks for some reason. I don't know why. Um, Mirror Retriever is pretty decent. Mirror Retriever. When it dies, return to the target artifact. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Drunk. Oh, drunk driver, <laughs> junk diver. Wow. Wow. And I hope this is the card that I'm thinking it is. Oh, it's not. Whenever it dies, return to the target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, I think we have actually enough graveyard get back here. And I do know what scrap trawler is, and I do like me some scrap trawler. Whenever it or another artifact controls, when it's over, return to a hand target artifact creature cast. With 
Graver with lesser seam seal. Hello! We're building Dalakos, and that is proving difficult for me and my brain. Um, let's see, I always say drunk driver for that card. Thank you, it's- I don't know why I keep saying it weird. Um, Astronaut's Altar is infinite mana if you have cost reducers. We do need cost reducers, and I know that there are cost reducers in here. Ramp, not bad. Bit bobble. But Bobble could be used just for sack fodder for Garblin Artifact Bringers. True. We'll add that in. Oh well, let's see. Da, 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 da. So let's go. I keep forgetting, but I can just click up there. Um. Let's see. Hmm. I know we can do this. I know that we can do this. Um, untap up to two artifacts. Um, search library for an artifact. The CMC artifact control become. Uh. No ember cleave. Is it because the Voltron? I didn't even think of ember cleave as a card. This spell costs one less to cast for each attack and creature control. When ETB is attached to target creature control. <sighs> what one double strike trample? It's not bad. And Ugin and the Ineff Ineffable is pretty good. Is pretty good. And I do like me some Ember Cleave. I'm disappointed in you. I think you've turned me on to Ember Cleave. <laughs> Ember Cleave is pretty good. Um Lurk time. Hello. Hello, everybody. Let's see. But, Phil, yes, we are trying to make Dalakos. And artifacts always stress me out. I don't know why I get very stressed out in them. I believe it's not a card. <laughs> it is a way of ruining lives. Fair. I know people in Standard are quite sad about it. Um, let's see. Loyal Apprentice is really good on the curve with the three drop commander. We always do Sensei's Forge combo. That's true. Let's see. But remember, we need we need equipments here. We need more equipments, I think. Um, that card I just read. What was that card I just read? The Little Apprentice. What does that do? We have comment on your turn. If you control your commander, create a one one color scepter artifact creature token for flying. That token gains haste until end of turn. I actually don't mind that. Loyal Apprentice. Let's see. Um, why did my thing not come up? Probably because I did boink, boink, boink. I don't see why. Let's see if this will work. Why am I not? I I know like, may oh. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, well there you go. It, it wouldn't let me uh, colorless there. I know there's more. I I know there's more. <laughs> Joy's familiar also reduces artifacts since they're historic. Good. Vidalcan Arc Mage is another Joyra. Oh my God! So many things happening. So many things happening. Um. Storm the Vault, Storm the Vault. I do like Storm the Vault. Let me pull it up. Whenever one more creature you control does a uh, combat damage to a player, create a token. Beautiful. And then it flips the beginning of your end step if you have five or more artifacts, which we will. Uh, gives us mana. I like that. Storm the Vault. Let's go. Y'all give me lists and lists and lists and lists and lists and lists. What if you have a pirate sub theme? That'd be pretty great. Okay. Okay, so we have a whole list. Cloud. Uh, someone said cloud key. Uh, spells the chosen type. Not bad. Didn't type in anything correctly. Um, our curve is kind of low though. So let's just type in cloud key here because our curve is kind of low. 
Helm of Awakening. We got a lot going on. All spells cost one generic mana less to cast. Um, do we have any? Someone's anvil. Any equipment? Because these are not equipment. Um, uh, Foundry Inspector is pretty good. I do like an NCI bonus of creature, which I think we need. So Foundry Inspector, yes. Okay, let's see. You can play Gar on the Great Creator. Turn your equipments into creatures. You just name artifact. Oh, Mystic Forge. We already got Mystic Forge in here. Let's see. You can play Karn the Great Creator. Yeah. Mask of Memory is good equipment. Oh, we have so many things going in here in chat. If I miss your mem message, I'm so sorry. We got a lot of things happening in chat right now. Mask of Memory. Never quit creature deals. Combat damage to player. You may drop two cards. If you do, discard a card. I like that. Let's go memory. Okay. Whenever someone on Twitter asks what historic is, I always tell them about the dominary keyword instead of the format. Format? Format. Does anyone else do this? Um going through this. Mask of memories. Shadow Sphere, I 100% uh, agree we need a Shadow Sphere in here, without a doubt. I feel like we'd be doing a crime if I didn't have that in here. Um, somebody says Ethereum Sculptor. I run that in my deck, but I keep forgetting to put it in here. Uh, it's good. Ethereum Sculptor. I'd rather have... Um, I can't spell to save my life today. Um, I would rather have things that... Um, make my artifacts cost less on bodies rather than just stagnant artifacts just because bodies are good we can get them flying in haste something spike is also good the one where if a creature deals combat damage it halves the life total we already have that that is scythe claw so we're already good let's see infiltration lens is a catch 22 mask of memory well because Dalakos has uh, equipped creatures uh, we tend we want to focus on equipments, so we will be doing equipment. Quietest spike. I never played with that before. Quick creatures death touch. <laughs> I like it already. Uh, ooh, I like that. That is good. I was thinking of scythe claw. Quite like oh, there we go. We already have. That we don't have Sword of the Animist, I'm a filthy liar in here. Um, Sword of the Animist. Um, I always feel head maybe this is just me as a as a person, a weird personal thing. When it comes to Sword of the Animist, I always feel super uncomfortable running it in a in a two color deck because it just feels like I'm not gonna get much use out of it. But at the same time, I guess it will. We'll add it in. Lightning Bolt. I don't think I can do Lightning Bolt. I got made fun of actually one time because I ran a Lightning Bolt in one of my decks. Um, yeah, that made me very sad. Um, Inquisitor's Flail. Okay. Uh, Equip creature would deal combat damage. It deals double that damage instead. If another creature would deal combat damage to a equip creature, it deals double that. And yes, please. I'm gonna go ahead and add a blasphemous act in here, just because I feel like I'm gonna forget adding like big board wipes that I know I'm gonna need later. Um, hmm. Sword of Vengeance. Let's see. Uh, not bad actually. Vigi Tramp Haste, that seems good. Um, let's see. Oh my god, I gotta like get up close. So many things are happening in chat right now. My spike works in my aggro EDH decks. Prowler's Helm makes it unblockable, kinda. Let's see. 
I did not add Mirrored and Besiege, but I've been thinking about it. I do like Trailblazer's Boots, and I was actually going to recommend that myself, so I'm really happy somebody else did. Those of you who don't know, Trailblazer's Boots, boots I think it's kind of just, like, really good to have um, in a lot of com um, commander decks, simply because it is non-basic land walk, and almost everybody plays non-basic lands. So, Trailblazer's Boots... People who think Bolt is bad are assuming they can go down to three life on a greedy play. Um, Basilic Collar and Fire Shrieker. I remember Fire Shrieker. I don't know what it does. Double Strike. Um, good. And I know what Basilic's Collar does already. Can't type to save my life. If I'm missing your cards, please continue to say them in chat. I promise I will see them. I am just very bad with eyesight. Um, I do need to think about Mirrored and Besieged in here. Grappling Hook, Elvis Briggs Color Identity, dang it, yeah, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Double Strike, whenever quick creature attacks, you may have target creature block at this turn. If able, emphasis on the May. Double Strike is good. Grappling Hook. I think we're gonna need more creatures, definitely. World Slayer is such a value. We do already have Helm of the Host in here, which is really good. Um, I don't know about Captain's Claws, because that's for allies, isn't it? I do remember that card. It's allies, right? Um, whenever quick creature attacks, put a one one. Mm, that just kind of feels so-so for here, I think. Um, okay, I've seen World Slayer and Moon Silver Spear pop up a lot, so I'm going to go... <laughs> that scares me <laughs> that scares me um i'll pop it in uh playing that scares me but we gotta be scary i guess now let's do the moon silver before i forget because i keep forgetting okay S something warlord the one word etb easy tutor equipment we already got that in here let's see this feels better than captain's claws um, because we get an angel. I like that way better. Let's see. Goto is... Uh, well, we have Goto in here just for the good tutor, just in case. Uh, make sure you have Darksteel Forge out if you plan to do World Slayer. Smart idea. Darksteel Forge. I already know what that is, but... For those who do not know... There's a lot of Darksteel stuff. Colossus. Ugh. Uh, Artificial you know, Elemental Indestructible. Beautiful. Uh, CDH Combo Zalameo. Um, you can uh, use the... God, the pre-release promo is top tier. Stunning. Beautiful. I know exactly what you're saying. Um, oh god, I have to, like, lift up my phone so I can read it. Um, Epicric, I know exactly what you're saying because I love that art myself. Um, hmm. Darksteel played that bad boy in constant board wipes. What if, um, I'm thinking about... The, um, super disgusting, um, it is the, uh, y'all have to know what I'm talking about. It's essentially where I can lock the, um, I can lock the board, essentially. Um, oh, it's, um, it's, um, it's, um, it's, um, it's, um, it's there, there's an artifact that makes everything artifacts, and then I can, um, Lock the board. What am I thinking of? Karn and Lattice. Thank you. Micah Synth Lattice. Loudiv. <laughs> Micah Synth Lattice. All permanents are uh, artifacts in addition to their types. All cards that aren't out of that. Da -da 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 -da. Um, Chase, no, we can talk about this, but like, come on. <laughs> it's so gross. We just did Mycosynth Lattice. We did Karn. We could lock the board. We could lock the board. The board. What do you think? And <laughs> Vandal Blast. Disgusting. We already have Ugin in here, but smart for thinking that because that is actually fantastic. Really good CMC reduction. Um. Why does one bed dark too? Um, 
It's a dead card normally though. That is extremely fair. This is a two card combo that's really difficult to get. Um, and I would only really be able to get my and Lattice if I got the luck of the draw for fabricated for it. So um, I agree with you there that that might be dead. Um, so you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna put this combo on the back burner. Don't forget about it for a second. Let's see, Phyrexian Metamorph. Mm. You may have it ETB as a copy of any artifact or creature, except it's an artifact in addition. Yeah, Lattice is only useful if you're not playing it fair. That's fair. I would say Stone Calendar over Ugin. With the Forge, you should also have Nez Disc. That's not bad, actually. I do like Nez Disc. Um, I do like Phyrexian Metamorph, too. This is going to be a hard deck, I can already feel it. Ugin the Inevitable also makes tokens to equip, though. I agree. Duplicant. You may have an ETB. You may exile target non token creature. As long as card exile with duplicate is a creature card, duplicate has a power and toughness. A creature type. What's the last card? Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. 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 Second, Ugin the Ineffable agree just for funsies. Run artifact lands and make him a land. I will be running artifact lands in here. I feel like you have to. Candelabra of Taunus will let you filter Talica's mana into colored mana. I already know for a fact that we cannot do this. Because, guys, remember, this is going to be for like the average person. Um, This card right here is not for the average person. That 525 cost is a new new. So I don't think we're gonna be doing that. Um okay we already have for the cards. I'm gonna click done editing because I'm gonna see uh how this looks right here. Price actually is not bad for half of the deck. Actually that's a pretty good price so far. Guaranteed granted we do not have our lands in but I will say the very beautiful thing that I love about dual colored decks is that they tend to be a bit more inexpensive just because of the mana base. True, it is no lands yet, but I really like this. Lands do add up. We have 21 creatures here, um, which is a good amount of creatures. Look at these artifacts, though. 25, and our curve seems to be pretty good, actually. I like our curve a lot. We tend to be a little bit on the lower side. I'm seeing a lot of threes. Um, let's see if I'm right. So like a math teacher, I see a lot of teams. Um, give me my curve. Give me my curve. Give me my curve. Cool, it's not giving me my curve. Why is it not giving me my curve? Do I need more cards in here to get my curve? Um, let's just go ahead. I do like Temple of Lightning, so let's just add Temple of Lightning. There's the curve! Okay, no lands yet though, that's where it ends up. Argentina, Argentina. Argentum armor. I can't speak. Um, we do have Argentum armor. Ooh, Army of Eroa sounds good. Whenever creature attacks, put a woman count on it. That's not bad, actually. Armory of Eroa. This deck is actually going. This building process is actually going a little bit faster than normal. Let's see. My brain. I need to see. Um, I love how I actually pay attention to mana curves and commander and not just damn threes and sixes. I could never. I, I want our curve to be nice and pretty. Because when it sits nice at that three, like three is my favorite for the curve to lie. Like even here, like I'm just going to like briefly go over it. This right here looks stunning to me. Look at how pretty that is. That is a good curve. We want, I don't like, like I understand like late game cards are important. I understand that completely. But... I also want this deck to be about finding ways to cheat around that, which is why we have the cost redu reduction cards in here. But I like everything sitting at that nice three. That's a good hump right there on the screen. I like that. Let's see. Mana curves. It's not just a clever name. That should be my, uh, <laughs> that should be my slogan. It's not just a clever name. Okay. Uh, Black Blade for Forged and definitely Blade of Selves. That five could be prettier. You could add a little bit more to the five. Arcbound Ravenger. I like a good hump. <laughs> Let's look at Black Blade before, because I always 
It's like those cards that I know exist, but I just never think about it. Okay, blah, 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 blah. One one for each land you control. I like that. That equip cost hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Because I don't know if our curve is taking into account our equip costs. Um, I really wish it would. We'll see. Um, Light Sickle. Let me look at the other cards first. Blade of Cells. Quick Creature has Myriad. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Myriad is one of my least favorite abilities ever. <laughs> I forgot. I cannot. I don't think I could do it. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just can't. I cannot do Myriad. Myriad hurts. It hurts my brain. It hurts my brain so hard. Um, <laughs> so just kind of... I'm so sorry. Normally I would be like, let's just put it in the... I can't, man. I can't with Myriad. I'm sorry. I'm the worst person ever. Okay. Let's look at Arcman Ravager. Sacrifice an artifact. Put a 1 1 counter on it. And there's the battlefield with a 1 1 counter on it. When it dies, you may put a 1 counter on some target artifact. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, we already have Armory Automaton in here. Mirage Mirror, Mirror Work, Sculpting Steel. Oh, something happened on my screen. What happened on my screen? Something happened. I don't know what happened. Thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kyle. Okay. Um, Mirage Mirror actually is not an idea. I'm gonna put it on the side. Um, sculpting steel. Fun fact, that was the first invention I ever pulled. A sculpting steel. No, 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 no. I might do that, actually. Do sculpting steel. Let's see. Uh, I do need to get that computer desperately. This one is running really, really, really poorly, and I feel really bad because I thought it would last longer, but he is not going for it. Do I have Kazool? Probably, but I never remember. Don't have Kazool himself. I have everything else. Whenever any creature an opponent controls attacks. Uh, I don't think that works in here. So somebody said something about reducing my um, equip costs. Who said that? Dalakos and Brass Squire. Do I already have Brass Squire? I feel like I do. I do have Brass Squire already, so we are off to a good start. Stratoscythe is the one that I'm thinking about. Not status scythe. Stratus scythe. Come on, internet. That's a four. That's a four chase. That's not how you spell that way. Stratus scythe. Dude! You know what? Scythe. I know I spelled that right. Strata Scythe. Um. He's running for each land on the battlefield with the same name. I'm gonna stay away from Strata Scythe because that just feels like mono colored deck only to me. I ran that in a mono green deck and it just feels weird to run it anywhere else, so I'm gonna not. Um. We have Valduck in here already, and I do have the Toil Collector and the Battlemaster in here as well. Um, Death Render. That is a familiar sounding card that I cannot think of. What is it? 2 2, when it dies, you may put a creature card from your hand on the battlefield and tap Death Rendered. That's not bad. That's not how you spell Death Render Chase, but you know, it's fine. Okay. Let's see. Grand Architect. I don't think I have that in there, actually. Other blue creatures, you know, the one one. Target effect becomes a blue creature. Well, comes blue until end of turn. Tap and untap blue creature control as two minutes. Mm -hmm. I. Why am I not running that in there? Why am I not running that? 
That is so smart. When I was about to build on your control, let me attach equipment. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not running that in here. Hammer of Nizan is great. Thank you for saying that, chat. I don't know why. Zaz. Uh, da 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 da. Izumazawa is Jate legal and commander. It is indeed. Golem skin gauntlets. Let's see golem skin gauntlets, because I've seen people mention that before and I have yet to pull it up. Um, uh, hell yeah. Let's see. And is ready. All right. Golem skin gauntlets is all, is like the all in Voltron piece. Obvious swords are obvious. Um, so let's me brain, 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 brain. Umazawa. I love, I love these cards make me so look looking at these cards each I love them I, I love them okay <sighs> whenever it deals combat damage whenever a quick creature deals combat damage put two counters on it remove a charge counter from it it's two one two two mm -hmm. ah! hedron matrix sword of copper and tin gives a flying in haste this is where I was worried about. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Work building this deck, I was extremely scared because of the swords, because they're very pricey, in my mind. I'm trying to build for the average commander player. I'm, I'm I'm like an average commander player. I don't I don't tend to spend too much money on it. Um, I don't know what the heck sword and copper and tin is. Can you tell me the real name of that card? Um, because I do not know what that is. We already have our gentum armor in here. Um, hmm. What is this? Um, pro, pro, pro. I don't know, sort of name, I can think. Neutron. Am I to just adding Talisman of Creativity? Is it Signet Chromatic Lamp for Nightwing's bonus turn now before you? Thank you, Megan. Thank you, because you're right. I always end up doing that, and I always forget, and then I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do, and then you're right. Um, so is it Signet? Um, maybe not Chromatic Lantern. I don't think I need Chromatic Lantern. Uh, Talisman though. Soul Rain because I feel like I have to. Um, I don't think about the Felvor Stone. This is an artifact deck, but I don't think I need that. Might be bad because you do have command zone ramp. Yeah, I just don't know about that. Kasari Gamma. What? Whoa, I have seen this card before, but I've never played it or looked at it like in depth. Let's see. This creature gets one zero until end of turn. For two colors. Whenever it deals damage to a blocking creature. The equipment deals that much damage to each other creature. Ooh. I do like that. Okay. People keep suggesting Sargentum armor. That is what I meant when I said get it out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> you were right about that. Um, let's see. You can probably go lighter on them, yeah. Dark Steel Juggernaut would be so good with all of the weapons and flying in haste. It might just be okay. Um Uh, equal to the number of artifacts you control. It does attack each combat if able. I'm not opposed to that, actually. Um, Pia's Revolution. Thank you for... We, we've been focusing... I know I said... I was like, we need more equipment, but we need instances and sorceries, too. Um, so thank you to... to um, Phil, I bless you. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Um, let's see. Whenever non-token artifact is put into your graveyard from battlefield, return that to your hand unless target opponent has p Yeah, I like that. That's a good card. That's a good card. <sighs> da, 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 da. Scarecrone. I have pulled one of those before. Um, I think we have enough recursion, to be quite honest. 
Um, I will add it to the sideboard, but I think we have enough to actually like a ton um, for artifacts, which is kind of nice because that's always a big issue with me is recursion. Um, let's see. We're gonna have to make so many cuts, I can feel it. That's not bad though. Each part exiles all artifact cards from their graveyard. Sacrifices all artifacts they control and puts all cards they exile this way on the battlefield. This is a um, was a living living dead for artifacts, right? This is oh, not what I meant. Uh, living dead. Living death. Yeah, it's a living death, but for artifacts. Um, I like that. Let's do scrap mastery. Um, mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, Peter's Revolution design is pretty good. Nekote. Nekote is another one of those enchantments. Oh, not enchantments, sorry. Artifacts that I know what it is, um, but I never have touched it before. I never equip creature deals damage to a creature. Tap that creature. No longer Nekote is in play. That creature doesn't attempt to scroll on the snap set. Never equip creature does combat damage to a player. That player loses life. Oh, that was really high pitch. I'm sorry for y'all who had to hear that. Um, maybe. I don't know. I'm not used to artifacts, so I, maybe I'm just like really underselling this one, but I don't know. Let's see. Um, Nim Death, Nim Death Mantle. <laughs> y'all are something else. Why can't I type today? I type too fast for my own good. It's 2-2 two, two, and 2 is a black zombie. Non-token creature is flown into your graveyard for battlefield. Pay 4 if you do return that. Um, I don't know about Nim Death Mantle in here, maybe. Let's see. It's okay that you're late. You're still here and we still got plenty to brew. So you're doing A-OK. -okay. Let's see. It, okay, it just ends up reading as an equipment that gives them blockable. Living Death for Artifacts, I just remember that recent filthy casuals you did because of that statement. <laughs> um, Mirror Works is worth, gives you more equips. Um, I do know Cool Drotha Forge Master. I do like Cool Drotha Forge Master. Let's look up Mirror Works, though. I really want to reduce equip costs if I can. Um, another one, another non token artifact enters battle for the controller, may pay two. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Let's see. Spell to save my life. Tap three artifacts for shelby for an artifact card. Put that on the battlefield. The shelby card. Yep, that's a good tutor. We're gonna have to do so much cutting. I can feel it in my bones. Um, I tend not to mind high pitch sounds. I can also hear some weirdly high pitch noises. I would assume the living weapon cards were already mentioned. They were already mentioned. I only have two in here because um. Not all of them seemed like super impactful, but two definitely. Uh, Batter Skull and Scythe Claw were really good. Um, hmm. There's some good artifact specific draw spells. Thirst for Knowledge, Thoughtcast, and Riddlesmith. Yes, I agree with you there. Those are all good. I actually run those in my Emery deck. So um, good for mentioning that. We're gonna need that. We're, getting, we're going so heavy, it's not even crazy. Um. Podcast is gonna be easy too. Well, that living death. Don't worry about being late. We haven't gotten to the most important <laughs> signing a name. Fair. Uh, death render is a good equip. We do have death render in here, I believe. Um, Scythe claw is ridiculous. It is. Tinker. Yeah, no, we cannot add tinker. <laughs> tinker is indeed banned. Um, somebody said scythe of scythe of something. I can't wait for my second screen to come in so I can actually do things. Size of the Wretched. Let me see. Can't spell. Okay. Okay, Size of the Wretched. Whenever a creature dealt damage by a quick creature, this turn dies. I throw that card to the battle under your control. Hmm. What do y'all think about Size of the Wretched? Are you running the all the trinket mages? The mages. We probably need to look at the mages. Oh, dang it. 
Let's see, this is what I need. This I need the mages. The mages. So, oopsies. Mage. Poop. There's like trinket mage, trophy mage, treasure mage. Trinket mage, trophy mage, treasure mage. There's a red one in it. Trinket treasure trophy. Yes. Um. Do we have total collector in here? This is gonna be- we're gonna have to make so many dang cuts! That's the worst part about deck building, I think, is cutting. But that's not a thing. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume Kazul's Toll Collector has not been mentioned yet. It has been in here. Why would I not want to steal my opponent's stuff? I guess that means Armory Automaton as well. Yes, we got that in there. L, F, what's the two? So rebuttal is gonna be a good 12 cent version of a counterspell. Yeah, but the thing is, when it comes to counter spells, I think we need to run a decent amount, and that was actually something that I noticed with um the last deck is we only had three, and I want if we're gonna run counter spells, I think we're gonna have to run more. So I think maybe just focusing on combat, some more aggro. You could run the best tier in the game, Campbell. Sigil of Distinction. Oh, the sigils. Whoa. Let's see. Comes into play with X charge counters on it. Equip creature gets 1-1 one, one for each charge counter on it. Remove a charge counter to equip. That's interesting. Is there a mage that's red or am I dumb? Am I... Good thing you have all these edge objects. Cutting will be made easy. <laughs> God, this is why I love deck building with you guys, though, because it makes it easier because you guys help me make cuts that I normally wouldn't like. Okay. I know for a fact there is a red mage. There's a red mage. I think there is. Or maybe I'm just imagining things wrong. I mean, obviously these are mages, but there's a red artifact mage in there. Or am I just stupid and I'm thinking it's this? I don't know. I just remember touching one once and thinking, oh, that's really weird, but maybe I'm just really bad at magic gathering. No, yeah, I'm bad at Magic the Gathering. <laughs> um, did I not already put Bludgeon Brawl? Okay, now you're right. Now's the time to put Bludgeon Brawl in here. Let's put Bludgeon Brawl in here. You have earned it. Okay. Matter of fact, ETB pay one deal one damage. Um, Hoarding Dragon, thank you. Hoarding Dargon. Wow. Good job, Chase. Top notch. When it ETVs, you may search other different artifact card exiles and check your library. I don't know. Okay. Um, Reshape. Why do I know that card? I can see the art in my mind. It's really cool. It's blue. It is. It looks like something being torn apart. Um, is a sacrifice an artifact? Ooh, I do like that. Um, we already have fabricate in here. This probably isn't the list for Decimator Web. Um, I don't feel comfortable running Stratocythe in here when we're doing the dual color deck. Um, that's just like my weird thing. Don't think I can do Stratocythe. Let's see. We have 81 cards. This is going to be impossible. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to make some cards. This is still a relatively cheap deck for 80 something cards though. Jesus. Oh my god. I've never had an artifact list look this heavy. We're gonna have to make some cuts. And our instant sorcerers are gonna need some help. Um. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we can find cards with it. Okay. Can't do that. Unfortunately, got Ember Cleave and I'm there already. Um, no, that's not gonna work, is it? When Spellbinder comes into play, you may remove an instant cut. Mm. Dang it. All equip reducers are white, yeah. That's not fun. Cephalid Constable? Let's see. When he ET when he deals common damage to player, return up to that many target permanents that player controls to their own. I kinda like it. I'm not gonna lie. 
I actually think it'd be kind of funny. Um, I actually do kind of find uh, uh, I do kind of vibe with that. We're gonna make be we're gonna be making pets anyway. If he stays, he stays. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Um, the Duncan Aether Mage. I know that card. I'm gonna say not really vibing with that one. Um, Artificer's Epiphany. Artificers. I always read it. Tears. Draw two cards. You control no artifacts. Discard a card. Um, in, 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 intuition. Discard an artifact card from your hand. Switch up for an artifact card with CMC. May it cost one or less. That's not gonna work too much here. Um, hmm. Vidalkin Archmage. Okay. Are you playing artifact? Ooh! Forgot about him. Okay. Um, more invention goes where. Um, mechanized production, furnace dragon. We need more red in here, y'all. I'm, I'm dead. Big for artifacts. When it comes into play, if you. What? Why? Am I just reading this wrong? Am I reading it wrong? When it easy bees, if you cast it from your hand, there's all artifacts. What good does that do me? <laughs> I don't think I can run that. <laughs> that has the affinity. Um, there is one that I'm thinking of. Um, it's a it's a dragon. What am I thinking of? Really? No. Come on. Dargon. Search. There's one of them I'm thinking about. No. Hawkeye Engineer doesn't seem too bad, actually. Um. Ooh, Hellkite Tyrant. What about Hellkite Tyrant? This is the one I was thinking of. Flame Blast Dragon equals best dragon, not the right dragon for this deck. Okay, fair. Um. Ford Smelter Dragon, why would you want your swords to die? I don't want anything to die. Yeah, I agree. The confusion on your face when reading that. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I could not. <laughs> I was like, I don't think that's good for me. <laughs> When he deals combat damage to a player, gain control of artifacts that player controls. I think that might be good for me. What do you think? Should I be the dumbass that runs Hellkite Dry Tyrant? And when I mean dumbass, I mean the biggest, brainest person in the room. I do like that. So say... <laughs> you may search your library for an artifact card, exile, and shuffle your library. We already talked about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Um... I don't think we're gonna be running Melatus. So I feel like a jerk running that. Um, I don't know. Horde Smelter, destroy target artifact, it gets next zero down to turn, works the artifact so it's like, mm, that's not bad. What do you think about Hellkite Tyrant? I'm feeling very attached to Hellkite Tyrant. They were probably already mentioned, but just in case Thousand Year Elixir and Mage White Stone, they were not already mentioned, so let's check it out. Well, I go through here. I was typing Hellkite Tyrant again. Are you kidding me? Um, Tyrant is in all the precons, but I've never gotten to play it. Fair. Thousand Year Elixir makes everything a pace, right? Um, you may activate uh, abilities of creatures you control as though creatures had haste. Um, uh, seems okay. Um, does it make a big difference though? I'm not sure. Um, is justifiably evil? It is. Um. Tyrant is an old Pokemon. Somebody else might be spent. Thousand Year, Thousand Year, and Major Stone. What's Major Stone? Major Stone. Untap Tiger Creature. Ah! Uh, our curve is still pretty relatively low, I think. Yeah, we're heavier in the threes. I don't really have any worries about mana, to be honest. Um, so maybe not that. Can't 
Let's see. Um, let's see. Burner's Dragon. The ultimate galaxy brain tech against other artifact techs. Biggest brain person in the room. Assuming the big brain, I, big I, big idea isn't in play. Make a nice prediction. Dalakos activation, which is nice. Helicopter is just way but evil. This also rooms you for one because Dalakos freed from the real, so all your islands can be two colorless instead of Dalakos. But I think you should avoid ramp. That will be fighting when you will want to cast Dalakos. Yeah. Jaya. I don't think Jaya would be good in here. Jaya doesn't really have anything to do with uh, this. I don't know about Jaya. Mm. Mm. No, 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 Jaya. Sorry, I'm not. I just don't have. She just does instant sorcery stuff. Um, Sahili Sublime Artificer. Do we already have her in here? I know we have one Sahili. We have one Sahili already. Yeah, we already have her. Yep. Thank you so much. I have no idea what happened. Let me see. Activity feed. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Task mage, Jaya. Um. Uh. I don't know about. I don't. I don't know. I'm not so sure. Um. Going back to the Sahilis. Um. Going back to the Sahilis. I think we should go back to the Sahilis. Sahilis are important. Indomitable creativity might be good. I don't remember exactly what it does. <laughs> Let's see. Um, indomitable. Destroy X turn. <laughs> I don't think so. Our creatures. Okay, so going back to the creatures. Um, for each permanent destroyed this way, Ace Controller reveals cards from the top of his power library until an artifact or creature card is revealed. Exiles that card. <sighs> well, give me an idea. I'll look for something else. What about metal crown? Wait, wait, wait. I can't run those. Can't run those. Hmm. 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 I do like me some Molten Psyche. Um. Dora Weather Captain is in. Let's see. Uh, Indomitable Creativity might actually be high key amazing. If only Cranial Painting was a black true. This has been fun. I hope to see you um, play too. Goodbye. Thank you for joining. Um, um, I don't think there's anything over here for Minecraft. Um, bye, friend. Um, let's go back to the thingy that I was like, I don't know about that. And all creativity. Let's stare at it. Okay. <clears throat> Destroy X target artifacts and or creatures, so I can do board wipe for creatures as well. Reach permanent destroyed this way. Its controller reveals cards from the top of their library. Oh no. Until an artifact or creature card is revealed and exiles that card. Reach permanent destroyed this way. Destroy three. Okay, three. One, one. No, but it's them. They get the stuff. They get the stuff. I don't like giving people stuff. Yeah, destroy your own low value stuff and other people's high value stuff. Oh! Uh, uh, duh. It says, uh, player. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, brain. Brain fart. We're gonna have to make so many cuts. Oh my god. That is stressing me out. Indomitable. Creative. Um, and now let's you destroy server tokens and whatnot. Yeah, so let's also add a uh, Raptor Spine Network. Oh gosh. And we have Psy in here too. How many creatures do we have? This is making me nervous. Bosh. Should we, before, before we, before we, oh, oh lord. 
bitch. <laughs> Oops, I meant bosh. Um, sacrifice an artifact. He deals damage equal to the sacrifice artifact CMC to any target. Interesting. Whew. I don't know. Land world is too OP to be fair. You upgrade a Thopter into a Batter Skull. You upgrade the commander into a Land Um, I think Gamble's a good tutor actually in here. I would agree with your sentiment on there. Let's add a Gamble. Oh, we're getting into the 200s. Um, let's add. Bosh. Bosh. Gamble. Oh god, what's his name? Iron Golem. Iron Golem. Sahili's directive lets you flood the board if you have mana. Improvise each artifact you tap after you've done activating mana abilities for flood. Why am I saying? I swear to God, I'm better than this. Have you considered a companion? No. No. <laughs> Companions. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Reveal the top of cards of your library. You may put any number of perfect cards with CMCLS on the battlefield and pull the cards. Yeah, I like that. That's a good card. The red mana makes me nervous, but we need more red mana anyway. What do you think about the other Sahili uh, Planeswalkers? Because I already have Sublime Artificer in here. What about these two? Gifted and Rai. You should mirror adapter. Missed the punchline. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. It's good because you can improvise your equips and still be able to keep them fair. <laughs> Gandhi's Aether Heart. I appreciate the fact that it was autocorrected. Um, Gandhi's. Yeah, that's very funny. Um, Aether Heart. And there's that field. You get two. You run the commander one, I'll just set one. Yeah. Anything to hurt? Who do you think about Gonchi's Aether Heart? Um, I don't know. Um, so let me look at the candle one real quick. Gets me a token. Next spell, you cast this turn, cost one less. Reach artifact, that's great. Reach artifact control, create a token. So, I want to see who the gifted. Yeah, this is six for an extra turn and a Yeah, this is a uh, six for an extra turn and a turn or two, but like <sighs> I'm getting pulled in by it. I'm getting pulled in by artifacts not in equipments. Not really. Except for an extra combat turn. Not particularly. So we'll just see. Holy shit. Ninety cards. Uh, Gantes are the hard on a prototype portal, enough artifact token. I don't. Know. I think we're just gonna seem probably not. Our curve is looking pretty, pretty, pretty tight though. <laughs> Despite the fact that we don't have any lands here. Um. Sweet Jesus. Um. Oh my God. This is gonna be something else. I can just feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. Um. Oh, sweet Jesus. I am so... This is not going to be fun making the cuts. I think ha it's going to take it half an hour. Yeah, let's do the lands and we'll figure everything else out later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... The artifact land out there. No, no, no. Uh, Dark Steel said it all one hurt TH. Good news is that you're running ramp in command zone, so you can add more aggressive about running a one or two or less. Fair. Um, I would agree with that sentiment. We also have a lot of stuff that makes things cost less. Um, to remind us. Great furnace. Um, Volcanic Island seems like how it makes sense. You're like killing me, I swear. Um, let's see. Let's see to the Synod. Or Synod. Oh, I say Synod. What if I put Tron in here? I always like to put Tron in here just as a joke. Because <laughs> it just feels right. Did someone say Moxopal? No one said Moxopal. How dare you? Okay. Um, 
Lord have mercy. I really wish there was a way to look for lands that tap for something. I don't know. Maybe you can, and maybe I'm just like being really lazy about it. Land. Add a symbol. Blue. Red. Did I switch for lands right? Um, that's not gonna work here. That's not. Mmm. Mmm. I got it. Cool. Boink. And let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, buried ruin. We already have buried ruin in here. Um, but can I suggest scoot mom because it's not green? Um, okie dokie, artichokies. This was a bad idea. Well, it wasn't a bad idea. I'm just stressing myself out. May I. Uh, from from previous experience, if you're just joining, um, everybody here knows that I hate, 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 hate doing mana bases. They make me sad. I know I equip I I equate building a mana base to um getting socks for Christmas. You need socks for Christmas. You need clothes for Christmas. You need socks for Christmas. You need underwear for Christmas. You don't want to get them for Christmas, but you need them. And that's how I feel about building a mana base. Okay, we have recommendations. Probably look dumb looking at mana, but I always forget that certain cards exist. Um, Glimmer Void is none of those artifact lands, right? At the beginning of the end step, if you control no artifact, sacrifice it at one mana mana color. Do I need that? I don't know if I need that. I don't think I think it would just be safer to run a basic to be honest. Inventor's fair, yes. Um, activate this only uh, Sprum industry, yeah, I'll do that. Inventor's fair. Links allowed in here. That's just an air is it lands. Um so we have stuff like what? Like Thornwood Falls. Is Thornwood Falls the one I'm thinking of? That's the Nope, that's not it. What's the... Oh, jeez, I'm guys. I can't remember it. Let's see. Um... Boiler works. I do like Sulphur Falls. Sulphur Falls is good. I like two-colored land... I like two-colored decks a lot. Um... Simply because... Oh, jeez. The cost is going to be so much less. Like so much less. And Swift Water Clips is what it is. I think we're already doing everything else. Oh, I already have. I already have the Sky Land. I already got the Shock Land. I don't really think I need like a Volcanic Island. I don't really need the Ravnica Lands. I think we're good actually. Um, Mishra's Factory. Oh my gosh, so you have Artifact Lands. I haven't even think thought of. Let's see. I don't even want to read what that says. Okay, ah, uh, colorless. There's a tutu. Can you see? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't like wanding fumarole. That's just one of those lands I just never really liked. But I do have a Temple of Epiphany. No, wait, I know. I put enlightenment. I put enlightenment. I'm in Epiphany. I'm in Epiphany, not enlightenment. Uh, we'll do a ship and reef just in case. Painlands are sometimes a necessity. Um, anyone played Golden Guardian? Seems like a sleeper tech to me. I really want a set of duels that are tap but have a guild themed ETB looks really underpopulated. Hmm, I like that. Golden Guardian. While we're here. I'm getting too excited about everything I'm hearing. Okay, um. When it fights another target creature control, when it dies this turn, return to battle for transformed. Um, I knew somebody who played it back when it was in standard. Um, I do not know if it performed well, to be quite honest. I already have Fiery Eyelet in here. Oh, there it is. Hmm. <sighs> Caldera Lake. Caldera Lake. Caldera. Um, I don't 
think we need it that bad. At this point, like, because we're doing a dual colored deck, I don't think we need the pain lands too much, to be honest, because it's it's not like we're going to be without. Um, and I'm seeing a good healthy splash of red, which makes me happy. We have 14, well, 16 lands. Let's add some more here. Just having something to equip seems useful. Guardian seems good. Caldera League is literally just a worse guild gate, yeah. C-H- a Zephyrin Void. No moxes. No moxes. Glimmer Void. Zephyrin Void. ETB's Scry. Mm. I don't know why I'm turning up my nose at it. That seems okay. It does what Colin wants to own. I just prefer to have the temple because at least I get a color out of it. We have 102 cards. We don't even have our lands done yet, y'all. Okay. Um, we do have the added benefit of being able to run less lands in here due to the fact that this is indeed a um kind of three. That curve looks so pretty. I don't want to cut anything because that curve looks nice. I definitely run Void in the Colorless Commander deck. Yeah, but it's not Colorless Commander deck, though. I agree. I honestly, I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree that 35 seems good. I was thinking the Tron lands because I'm a degenerate person, but I actually run the Tron lands in my Emery deck. Um, this is my Emery deck. Um... It comes to my lands. I have a lot of islands, but I have like, here's this mine, here's this mine, here's this. I don't know why I want to run them. I just run them. Uh, Temple of the False God. I don't know about that. Um, run Trusty Machete. It'll help make cuts. Emery is indeed amazing. She is in here too. So now we have to make cuts. But before we make cuts, I want to get the lands situated. So let me just do the most boring thing ever. I don't know about you guys, but I actually like to hand count my, my mana curve. Not my mana curve, but my color curve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, I have a pen next to me. Uh, 31, red. What do we got for blue? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, 18, 19, 20, 14, 20, 24, 25, 26, 26, Whoa! In a turn of events, in a turn of events, we actually have more red in here than blue. That's weird. I didn't expect that from us. I mean, I'm happy about that. That's good. We needed red. I say since you want to have one of each color or turn three every game, just straight do it, split down the middle 50-50. Um, okay, hold on, we're getting some land. Cloud post. Let's, let's, let's hear out the other lands before, but I think if even 50-50 might be good. Um, that's not how you spell cloud post. Mm, that's going to be a no. Mm, I don't know why we would run those. I don't know why we would run Vesuva either. I don't, we don't really have any great lands here. Um, like I'm looking at all these and I just don't think that they're... Like they, they are from artifact heavy sets. They don't feel very fitting here. Even with like Thespian stage like... This means stage just doesn't feel like it would be a good piece in here. Um, um, so my car is here, colorless. It probably doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I would say, like, if we were doing something like big, like big deals, so or something like, um, oh my God, what is her name? What is her name? What is her name? What is her name? Dark, dark depths. Dark depths. Maybe, but it doesn't really feel right. 
idea of uh, what Stormbolt turns into, that'd be good to copy with Stage of Vesuva, I suppose. But that just feels like we're adding it in for the for the sake of adding it in. Um, that's so, so great. You can have four of them and four of the other. I don't think we should do any of the Locusts. I'm sorry. Um, hi, yes, we are building Dalakos here. Hello, friend. Uh, we're doing Dalakos equipments. We're going to have to make a lot of cuts. Um, the Eldrazian land that taps for two academy ruins. Let's see. Yes. Good, good, good choice, friend. Smart choice. I like it. Okay, academy ruins. Academy ruins. Okay. Let's see. Um, I think we're just, we should just leave the mana base at this. Making it anything else. I think if we take, we don't have any locusts here. Um, and Vesuva and stuff, it just seems like we're, it's just gonna ruin, like, not ruin our mana base, but it's gonna make it harder. Like, what if we turn one and get a Vesuva? It's kinda weird. You have the Espion Sage, turn one, or two and three, it just was kinda weird. Um, and Eldrazi with Flying and Haste would be good. Yeah, but I want us to kinda remain, like, on, like, focus with, like, the deck that we're building. Because I don't want it to turn into, okay, let's copy a bunch of lands. Because that's an that's something that doesn't really feel like an inevitability with the brew that we're going with here. So, we'll do an even 50-50 split because our curve is honestly only off by four. And instead of an Eldrazi, just like run a giant artifact creature. Um, we can make some cuts and then add them as we go. So let's just go ahead and add this right here. So for 35... <laughs> please don't make fun of me. Please don't make fun of me. Um, calculator. <laughs> 35 minus 17 is 18. So we can just do... 9. Nine. That's 33. I can't math. So we'll just do 10 and 10. 10. 10. There we go. 35. Okay. All of those blight seals are really good, but we have to cut. Oh, Jesus. We have to cut 21 cards. This is going to take the remainder of the deck. It's good, though. Oh, our instance. Oh, sweet Jesus. That hurts. This hurts. This is going to hurt. I can feel it in my bones. Oh. I like working on your deck better than mine. More fun with fellow wizards. Good night. Have fun. Be safe. Get some sleep. Let's see. You don't even have removal yet. We have some. We have Blasphemous Act. <laughs> I got Blasphemous Act. Um, got Blasphemous Act. And Indomitable Creativity. Not bad. We got two, kind of. Um, what do we gotta cut here? We gotta cut 21 cards. I'm gonna write this down. Cut 21, because this is where things get hard. Um, mm. hmm. the reduction is just really good, and the token I Ugin's just too good. Breaking point, I think, I think is a card. Oh no, we gotta cut. Gotta cut! Breaking pinpoint. Breaking point. Any player may have a uh, deal six damage to him or her. If no one does, just real creatures. Creatures just six damage. Breaking point. I'm gonna write that down. You're not ramping tons of lands. Uh, yeah. I think we're good on lands. Um. Let's focus on cuts. I, I wrote down breaking point because I want to make cuts first and then I'll add things in as we go. I always get, I always, well, anyway, when I make cuts, I also add things and then it makes it confusing. So I'm going to make a little list right here on me next to paper. Next to paper, on paper next to me. This is a three mana burn spell to the person that is the reason you're board wiping. How many things can trick it trophy and the other each actually grab? I have to assume one of them doesn't have a lot in this. That is fair and true. I think Trinket Maids actually might be a cut. Because we don't have... Yeah, Trinket should probably go. Treasure gets 6 or greater. Which only hits Bosch. 
or yeah maybe we should cut out um treasure and trinket i was like oh yeah the one that hits three has a lot to go for um so it's so like three or less well, let me let me find it with cmc3 oh sorry 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 here's our here's our artifact i'm gonna i'm gonna stop touching it we have one two three four five five cards to get with trinket not trinket uh treasure uh trophy treasure we have a couple i don't know what to choose this is hard Ugh, i hate cuts we have to make 21 flipping cuts this is gonna suck and it's gonna, I know a lot of them are gonna come from, um, I think maybe we should get rid of Paradise Mantle. Um, yeah, I was, <laughs> literally, as I just said that, you put that there. So we're gonna cut Paradise Mantle. I'm gonna make a little list right here. Cut P Mantle. Okay, let's see. Um, do you really want World Slayer? It will cost you everything. I also agree with World Slayer. Also agree, it, it really only, it doesn't really make my guys bigger, so I would agree with that. Um, Noroko. Noroko. I don't have that in here. I have, um, I have it in the sideboard, so I do not have it here. Um, agree with World Slayer. I also agree with Paradise Mantle. Um, what creatures is Deathrender cheating into play? Let's find Deathrender. Um, when it dies, may you put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield and attach Deathrender to it. Scroll up here. Uh, these are all the creatures. We have a Quilkus 30, which seems like nothing compared to the amount of artifacts we have. <sighs> this is gonna actually be the worst. Um, I think we should cut... While cutting World Slayer Party Poopers. I know, I'm sorry. Should we cut... I really think... Wait, hold on. Six or greater. We do have a lot of six or greater. Hmm... If it was CMC 3 or less, maybe we should just get rid of Trophy Mage and Trinket Mage and keep Treasure Mage. So get rid of Death Render. Okay. Death Render. Um, let's see, what about Trinket and Trophy? I think getting rid of those, because if Trophy was 3 or less, I would like it better. But it's only CMC 3. Trinket is only 1 or less, and we only have one thing that we can do with that. And then Treasure Mage, it is... It's six or more, and we do actually have some good options for six or more. Yeah, for the lower CMC ones, you're putting down a card that's just fighting with when you want to cast your commander. So I guess just, um, so trinket. And then trophy. And then both cards that will be below the curve. So like, yeah, I just think treasure is the better one to keep because we have one, two, three, four cards that we can get. We have one, two, three, four, five, four. Dang it. So should we keep trophy? Yes or no to trophy mage? Yes or no to trophy mage? Team mages seem boring. They just get you the card you want into your hand. But that's good too, though. I think tutors are good. We need tutors. Especially bodies. Because remember, we have to hit stuff. Um, so should we keep trophy mage? I think keeping treasure mage is good. Or maybe not. <laughs> I know we're cutting cards, but cards with transmute will be good. Trophy Mage will always be hard to squee sequence in. Okay, so no Trophy Mage. Trigger Mage is a done deal. You can use Dialcoast Mana for it. Fair. Wait, so... It's a major question of what CMC your best artifact. Also fair. Let's scroll down. So at three, Fire Shriek... Kurasigama, quite a spike. Actually, maybe we should keep a. Uh... We got Trophy Mage. That's one more cut already made. Okay, so let's see. Maybe cut Treasure Mage. Keep Trophy Mage. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, in chat, press 1 to cut Trophy Mage. Press the number 2 to cut Treasure Mage. Now remember, Trophy is 3 CMC. Period. 
Treasure Mage is six or up. So press two to cut treasure, press one to cut trophy. One for trophy, two for treasure, one for trophy, two for treasure. They're all CMZ3. So two votes to cut treasure, one cut to cut trophy. We have more choices for trophy than we do treasure. But it's good to I don't know. I'm starting to forget how magic works and I'm like, you know, um, I'm at that part, point of the night where I'm like, you know, which one grabs the CMC six one that is treasure mage. So, cause we have viable options. We have one, two, three, four options. Um, I just don't know. I can always add it in back later. And when I'm writing my article, I can always be like, I regret cutting Treasure Mage. Because I think that's important. Okay. So we've made one, two, three, four, five cuts. Okay. Let's look at your creatures again. Okay. Um. One thing I noticed when we were building is we have a lot of, well, you have a lot of, like, graveyard getbacks. Um. The only mage you should be running is Dragon Mage. Cut Duretti. Someone said cut Duretti. Discard up to two cards and draw the many cards. Sacrifice an artifact if you do. Hmm. I like Duretti though. I was thinking about Junk Driver though. Um. When it dies. Yeah. Actually, I would agree with that. Drunk. Jesus. Junk dri Diver. I can't stop saying that. He's a huge target. You won't get much use from him. He's a target, but he's still pretty good. I mean, so is Sahili. Sahili is a target. Every time... I don't think there's been a bad Sahili printed, to be honest. All of them are really good. Um, cut one Sahili. Either one, but you don't need two of the same character. I mean... They're both good, though. I guess maybe the Gifted. I would get rid of the... No. The, your commander is always in target, yes. Cut the more expensive one. Yeah, I was thinking, like, the down tick. Free charge back to control, create a token. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I know I'm not typing them in, but I am writing them down. Because I, I noticed that when I write, I'm going to need to definitely have this information because I forgot for a minute the other time I read. I was like, oh, what did we cut? Um, mm -hmm. Cut the gifted so biomarker artificer gives you your choice of stained glass or animal drawings. <laughs> I do have the stained glass one. I do, actually. Um... No. <laughs> no. Sadly, with a heavy, heavy heart, I feel Bosch is too gimmicky. I would agree with that sentiment as well. And Bosch is also a target for um, the treasure mage. Bosch is hilarious, but bad. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Not yet, not yet. Bosch is definitely being cut. I'm just... I forgot I'm writing everything down. Okay, also cut Bosch. We've cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. That's actually really good. We have a lot more to go, though. We have 13. 13 more cards. Um, Goblin Welder. I like the Champion of the Flame a lot. Cut some lands. I refuse. Why do you hate the Scourge of Krug? What? Oh. <laughs> I, did, I didn't... Krug? I never read the half part of it. Um, I like it. It's four for a seven seven. And we do get the ability of it. We gotta remember. We gotta remember. We're trying to cut. We're trying to cut. So let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Um Renowned Weaponsmith. It it does literally the same thing as Dalakos, which I like. Oh wait a minute. No, I still think it's useful. Never mind. I read the second ability and I was like, I don't know, but I, I think we still need to keep it. I like that mana tap ability and it's on a creature. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Four mana flying haste trample seven seven seems decent. Does he fly? 
he doesn't fly. Oh, well, if we equip him, then he flies. Um, I like Emery because she gets our stuff back. We already cut that. Um, we can literally attach an equipment to him as a sorcery, and I like that. I like Psy because we get tokens and we can also sack them. I do not run those, but I really think we should keep the weaponsmith in here because he does the same thing as Dalco says. I really like that. Um, let's see. Card draw. Hold on. Riddle Smith. Nerf Cast Nerf Cast. Oh, draw card. We do discard card. Bosch gone. Um, okay, guys. What I'm actually going to do is we're going to take a brief break. Um, and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead. And we're going to be right back. And think about some cards you want to cut. And, um, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, back again. So, what are we gonna do here? Da -da 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 -da, that's gonna be hard. Um, so let's go ahead and make the cuts that we already have now off the screen, kind of clean it up a little bit. So, Deathrender is one of them. Then we talked about getting rid of. Paradise Mantle, that's two. Three. Um. Four. Five. Healer Vault Center. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six, Bosch and Sahili the Gifted. You like? Do you have? Is it Guild Mage on there? No, I do not. What's the last one? Bosch. We need to find Bosch. Bosch, baby, where are you? Don't make me control F. Don't make me control F. Bosch, honey, I know you're somewhere down here. Here, let me run for my ass. Okay, good. Okay. Do you think that we take with a lot of creatures? Emberclave is still probably good, but you could cut it. I do really. I, we have a lot of creatures in here, guys. We have 13 cards left to cut. 13 left. Okay. Um, I think maybe we should cut the bobble. My first bobble just doesn't seem very. Are you wanting to go with artifact reanimate deck? We have a lot of re we have a lot of get back. Um. I believe it's better than a lot of things still on the list. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get rid of the bobble. I just don't think we need Wayfarer's bobble. We have 12 left. 
My writer. Not the bobble. <laughs> we don't need the bobble. Um, Mitchell, get mad. I'm sorry. We don't need it. Um, okay. 26 creatures. I like the amount of planeswalkers we have. I think that's a good chunk. Our instants are kind of sad. Um, I think maybe we should cut Thirst for Knowledge. I think we should. Or add more instants. We do have a lot of card draw in here, though. Because with card draw, we have, um, let's see. Riddle Smith. Loyal Apprentice is meh. Yeah, I would agree with that. Let's get rid of Loyal Apprentice. This play exclusively at Sorcerer's Speed. Honestly, it's a mood. I feel really bad. Um, but I agree with you. Like, we have, like, no instance. I don't even know what we would add here. Makes life easier. Embercrew is the only instant you need. Fair. Fair. We're at 111. We're getting there, actually. We're, we're cutting a lot faster than we usually do, so I'm proud of us. Um... The Apprentice, which I don't even remember the name, but I know if I just write Apprentice, we'll be good. Muddle the Mixture. I don't have Muddle the Mixture in here. Um, we can add instants later, or just cut all instants all together. Um, what about Cephalid Constable? I think it was a funny idea, but I don't know. This is hard. Um... Should we take out Constable? Let's cut the Cloud Mage. What? Do I have Cloud Mage? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The one you were hovering? Um, you mean the, the Cephalid? Okay, let's see. Um, I mean, I was mainly missing when I mentioned it, so I'd be fine with you taking out the constable. That's fair. Um, Goto Bandit Warlord has a game-ending CDH combo that's currently in the deck list, so I might suggest removing it completely because you'll never get to use him. He's kill on sight or the game ends. Constable seems like a good day to make one player sad. Uh, not dead, but just sad and no longer the target. Okay, constable it is. if I can find them. I think we need to cut um I think we need to cut more artifacts. I definitely think we need to cut more artifacts. And I also would agree about Goto. Mmm Vinny Tutors. Let's just let's just hold back and then we'll see. We need to cut artifacts. We really need to cut artifacts. No Goto and Helm seems great. We should run Goto and Helm. I think we should keep it. Because it helps me tutor for more things. Okay. <sighs> Let's cut artifacts. Okay. Gives death touch and like like I like that. Golem skin gauntlets is really good. Shadow spears is really good. Soul ring armory. Let's get rid of maybe armory of Eros. What do you think? Cut armory of Eros. If you're going budget, Batter School and Hammer are expensive. What if instead of cutting Goto, you could cut Helm? <laughs> but I like Helm. We're only at 267. To be quite honest, this is not that bad for a commander deck. For 267, I'm not disappointed. Keep one. But the combo sounds so good. I just, y'all just made me realize it. I don't know if I want to get rid of it. I like the combo. Can we think about it? I like the combo. Let's keep the combo. It's so good that it ends the game instantly if you attack with him. That's the idea. I like it. Let's keep it. Okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of something else then. Um, let's see. This song sounds like Post Malone, and I know it's not, but it makes me nervous that it is Post Malone, but I know it's not. Um, hmm. Okay. Enclave. 
use in Hadrian armor size mirror works. Okay. Should we get rid of I think army bearers. So fuck that is why I run bolt in every head day. <laughs> What does trail build? Tra Trailblazer's boots is, I think, really good. Um, it, each cre well, enchanted creature has a non-basic land walk, so if people are running like, um, it is a boiler works, a temple, temple of the false god, Nykthos, Karn's Bastion, ancient tomb, we can, you know, just ride on through. Some people are seeing the stealth suit. Just being equipped already gives flying. I like Neuralk still suit. It's not bad. You can't walk if you are flying. Um, I mean, they have flying blockers. You can have walk if you're flying. Are y'all confusing me? Yeah, no. Y'all be confusing me. I'd rather run lightning grease, yeah. Should we cut soul ring? Think about it, if we cut soul ring, because Delicos is already a soul ring. Sail suit is lightning greaves that you can equip in response to removal. I like that, not soul ring. <laughs> Never soul ring. But you re but I but like Delicos himself is a soul ring. So it feels kind of weird to run a soul ring. Um You have a soul ring in the command zone. I do. Cut soul ring or should we cut the signet? But that is a four CMC soul ring. That's true. Soul ring is equipped is required by law. You should probably cut it, but it is the law. Yeah, but if you're drawing more cards from Joyra, you need more mana to play those new draws. Dang it. Okay, I'm 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 gonna go ahead and make the call to cut armory. Army right, Rose. Be brave, cut soul ring. In chat, press one to cut soul ring, press two to save soul ring. One to cut, two to save. One to cut, two to save. Oh, I find armory. Two to save, one to cut. Ooh, this is a. I'll let y'all do that while I try and locate this one card. Army Rose. Okay. Murdered son. One to cut, two to save. One to cut, two to save. One, two, three, save. One, two, three. Please vote using one or two. Um, votes that use different numbers, like three or four, I will not read as votes. Um, you'll have a soul comb syndrome. Um, one to cut, two to save, one to cut, two to save, one, two, three, cuts, one, two, three, saves, um, is a tie. Dang it. We'll come back to that. Maybe I should keep it. I'm gonna not do that. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Maybe cut the talisman instead. I don't think I need the talisman. I think the soul ring and the is it signet are good enough on its own. I think I'm gonna cut the talisman. I think that's our good. I think that's our happy medium. That's our happy medium. Cutting the talisman. I'm gonna make the decision to cut the talisman. Talisman over signet. Dang it, guys. No, I don't know. Talisman or signet. Talisman is better than Signet in this, actually. Okay, then we'll cut the Signet and keep the Talisman. Uh, now I gotta find where I put the Signet there. Okay. Oh. Um, because if you have two lands, Talisman and one drop artifact and cast spells. Fair. Okay. 
eight cards left. We are doing really great at cutting. We are doing extremely well at cutting. We only have eight more choices to do. Um. Uh, okay, let's go back through here. Let's go through each and every single one. Indestructible, and I think that's a good thing to run. The CMC cost is high, but I think it's worth it. Emberclave is a really good one that has flash. It costs less with our creatures. They're going to have flying. Double strike and trample and 1-1 one, one is good. I like that. Um, Greenstone, Hedron. Yeah. Maybe cut into Greenstone, Hedron. Basil's color is just kind of meh unless you're running pingers. Yeah, I'm not really running pingers. The Death Touch and Lifelink, though. Let's see. The enchantment I was thinking of running to kind of get the gain off of that was P mm, Bludgeon Brawl. How many non-equipment artifacts do we run? That is a good question. I'm going to ask. I just asked myself. Non-equipment. Non-creature non-equipment. You know, with Bludgeon Brawl, we need to see if we have any just plain old artifacts. So let's see. Um... One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. We only have eight targets for the Ember, uh, for the Bludgeon Brawl. Um, someone says cut prototype portal. <sighs> I'm trying to think about Bludge Brawl. Sculpting Steel shouldn't even count. Okay, I agree with the Sculpting Steel. Let's cut Sculpting Steel. It could come in as a copy and equipment a lot. Dang it. Okay, this is really difficult because now we're at a part where we're like... I really think we should cut Pledge and Brawl. It is such a good card, but we're not running enough non-creature, non-equipment artifacts. So I say Bludgeon Brawl has to go, which means we can cut the the other thing. I'm really sorry because I really like Bludgeon Brawl, and I think that's going to be the thing that I say I'm, I'm really sad to cut the most. But I think Bludgeon Brawl... Legend Brawl and um Shadow Spirit Dreamstone Hedron. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but it is dead. Phyrexian Metamorph is cool, but I would also agree with the Phyrexian Metamorph. So let me go ahead and type in the Hedron. D. Hedron. Um, let's see. Uh, then your favorite equip is gone forever. Wait, prototype portal won't stick around. True. Rexin Metamorph. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got six cards of that. Prototype portable will be fine. Don't worry about it. I like Dreams and Hadron. That's fair, but it's just really high in CMC, which means we might have to cut the treasure mage. I was really like, one, two, three, three things to search for with right now. This is hard. Okay. Um, prototype portal. I mean, ETBs. Yeah, making the token copies are cool. It's cool. I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know about that. Meh. What about Miss? Top card of your library at any time, and it gets the top card of your library. It's an object card or not. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be that a lot of the time, so I'll keep it. The other Hedron is better than Dreamstone Hedron Archive. Give us Hedron Archive. Well, I'll take a peek. So, mm, I don't know. Gotta make some more cuts. Um, Basilisk. 
local one is good. I think that's decent. Just common damage to and made directly cards of the juice card and card draw skill and sword and arrow tag and arrow. I like the boots. Fire shrieker is double strike. Uh this is hard. Maybe maybe just getting rid of sculpting still to be honest. Uh, get the trailblazers boots. Okay. T boots. I'm sorry about the T boots. I like the T boots. I never get to play trailblazers boots either. Five cards. Okay. Um, maybe you're right about Basilisk Caller. Anyone with a shuffling can walk, can't block it. I like Trailblazer's boots. Actually, I think Kasari Gama should go. Your creatures will often have evasion. So it's triggered from a creature blocking. We'll come up with much. Fair. I agree with that sentiment. It's actually pretty smart. Because we already have flying. And I'm yawning because I'm so tired. And I literally just want to, like, lay back and eat. Do I have eaten dinner yet? I don't think I've eaten dinner yet. I've been staring at computer screen so long, I actually, <laughs> like, blanked for a second. I was like, what am I doing? Um, am I so bad at sight that I cannot find this thing? There it is. Okay, sorry, Connor. Um, and that's sad for me because I really like Kasari Gama. I would agree with your, I would agree with your sentiment on that. That's pretty smart. Um, and I understand cutting cards you like. That curve is, let's see, the curve is still looking a little high in the threes. The threes are good. Let's see, let's see. Four cards. And then we can look about tweaking even more and adding things. I think 35 lanes is good. I think we should keep it at 35. Um, but the instance, like, I feel like... Okay, here we're gonna we're gonna go off on a brief chase tangent for a second. Um, this is my Emery deck. Instance, we have ten. Condescend, brainstorm, swung song, counterspell, dissipate, still rebuttal, thirst for knowledge, word of invention, rewind. I mean, we don't really need the counterspells in here to be honest. Yeah, I hate making decisions like that. Taking Umaz Umazawa Jitea out of my Tashira deck hurt a lot. Oh, the flavor on that. I'm sorry for you, friend. That does suck. Um. Run 27 creatures, only two walkers, or I could use the Hoping Artifacts. So let me see. Okay. I like Pia's Revolution. Um, what about Fires of Invention? Counter spells aren't fun, I would agree with that. You can cast spells only during your turn. And you can cast no more than two spells each turn. So that's going to kind of suck, because I want to, because I feel like we're going to get a lot of stuff in our hand. We cast spells with CMC costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying their mana costs, so we can literally just psh, psh, equip. No, maybe it's good. I mean, I do have a ramp commander. I feel like the mana is not going to be an issue. I feel like if we had big stuff, it would be an issue, but it's not. Yeah. Let's see, are we still playing music? We're still playing music. Fires of Invention. I think maybe, yeah, getting rid of that. I cannot wait to get my second screen. It's too much of a flavor win. How is it a flavor win? Is music playing? Yeah, give me 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, I was worried about something for a second. Uh, here's what I think. If you keep fires, take out counter spells. If you only cast two spells, and you use your mana for equipping. I don't have any counter spells in here. That's the thing. I'm not running any. There are many counter spells. I thought I have no counter spells in here. None. That was, um, that was Emery. 
I was just showing you on my Emery deck. I do not have any counter spells in here. Um, he invents stuff. Yeah. Um. Maybe get rid of the Thopter Spy Network. I do like Thopter Spy Network, but when we have artifact creatures, we're only getting tokens, but we do have a lot of token generators. That's the thing. What do you think? Thopter Spy Network, yay or nay? Because the way I'm thinking is, I don't know. I feel like we have to get rid of one. I know I don't need instants, but I feel like I do need instants. I guess maybe cut the thirst for knowledge. No network. I would agree with the network. The only reason I'm hesitant is because we get artifacts from it, and we get artifacts from Psy, and we get artifacts from Sahili, and we also get artifacts from, I think, one other thing in here. <laughs> How do some of my creatures to give equipment to and draws cards? True. So maybe getting rid of, getting rid of the fires. I, mm, a big part of Thought by Network is that the one has flying, duck has gives flying. That's true, but it gives us more creatures to equip onto, and I think that the more creatures we have, the better. It only gives one a turn, yeah, but so does, like, Sahili. Well, no, she doesn't, because if it's not a creature, then I get one. And Psy. What does Psy say? I think maybe keeping it. I don't know. My heart is saying get rid of the fires. Makes a 1-1 one -one every turn and doesn't get hit by most wipes. Cyclonic Rift. Why did I not think of Cyclonic Rift? Oh my god. <sighs> Psych Rift. Why? Why? This always happens. Meaning if board is wiped, you'll have the Voltron up. Organized production would be better than network. Um. Ah! <laughs> so many conflicting opinions! Uh, Rift is not too OP. I like Rift. Maybe get rid of the Thought Cast. I have a lot of card draw already, right? I think I do. Maybe I'm imagining that with my brain. Draw a card. Uh, draw a card. Thoughtcast Gonzo. Fires isn't helping this deck, not really. Okay, Fires and Thoughtcast. I'll get rid of those. But Trash for Trash should get something back, though. One to keep Thoughtcast, two to not keep it. Okay, let's see. Why well, find Fires? Fires, 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 fires. Why can't I see? Here it is. One to cut, two to keep, one to cut, two to keep for thought cast. I don't know Valduck actually. He seems like something you would need to fully build around. Mm. Three cards. Let's look at Valduck. Or Volshock. No, Valduck. I thought it was in alphabetical order. It was not. When he... For each Orin equipment attached to him. I guess! But that's added extra tokens, you know? One with a machine over Thought Cast. One to keep. One to cut, two to keep. One to cut, two to keep. Ah! I think our enchantments are good. We should leave it at that. They don't stick around. That's true. But they seem kind of good. Campbell, reshape, fabricate. We got some tutors in here. I like our tutors. We're going to keep our tutors. Um, You don't get to keep the extra Valduck tokens. No, I know. They exile. But I'm still saying, like, if he has a lot. I just think it's too good. Uh, you know, maybe I think maybe cutting Basilisk's collar actually. I do agree with earlier, but the, what y'all were saying with Basilisk's collar. It's the only one that we have too that's like one CMC as well, so we'll cut the Basque collar. 
Thought deck tokens give your opponent's blockers a purpose in life. The deck would give you really like six extra power per turn. Six extra power is not low. Um, I think it was a bass collar. Um, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Psychrift is like, oh, I think we need Psychrift. Psychrift is good. Six extra power is good. Keeping God. I'd say we keep God. We have two cards to cut. We have two cards to cut. And maybe put in your minions. Let's see. That's good. Most of your power won't be blocked. That six power will be six. Will equal zero. I would agree with the Phyrexian Mowarf. Did we even take that out? No, we didn't. Let's take it out. I said I was going to earlier and I didn't. Okay. I'm so bad. I cannot find it. Okay. One card left. And then we can start adding in more stuff. Jeez, this is this we've almost been at this three hours. Oh, these streams always take like almost three hours. Um okay. I think Blasphemous Act is just necessary in any red deck, I think. Nobody blocks an EDH on there. What are you talking about? Everybody blocks. Um, the one instant is literally paining me. You know what? I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to add in something right now. I have to. I'm so sorry. That feels better. What about Cyclonic Rift? <laughs> what about Cyclonic Rift? What about Cyclonic Rift? But blocking is good, and makes you not dead. Why would people block? Replace thirst with bolt. <laughs> Y'all, I don't think I'm gonna put bolt in here. Mm. The incense really hurt. I feel like I should have more. Like a brainstorm. You know? We call Juggernaut. Do I have? Oh, duh. Yeah, I would agree with Juggernaut. Good choice on the Juggernaut. One more card to cut. Let's see. D Steel Jug. Sharding Sphinx seems like a good idea. What is Sharding? Whenever an artifact creature you control does combat damage to a player, you may create- We don't have that many artifact creatures though. Like we have some tokens, but the only reason I'm keeping the token generation in here is for um, bodies for equipments. Um, and I don't believe that Shining Things would be too terribly great in here. I mean, I guess if you don't want to kill your opponents and just die, yeah, cutting Juggernaut doesn't make sense out. Like, I just don't think the Juggernaut was too terribly great. I can see why, but at the same time... Need to add KCI and Ashnaut to put those tokens to use. This is gonna be rough. I think now we're just getting- now we're just getting off target. This is stressful! Okay. I think we can cut something else. Maybe leaving just the instance safe. Maybe adding a brainstorm. This is so hard. Okay. I personally feel the Juggernaut is better than Valdek and Lee's, but he's, I just feel like he's worth it in here. Uh, it'd be huge before the equipment, though, and would have the bonus from the equipment and flying. Your opponents would just die, I guess. Well, a lot of our equipments don't really buff. They just get, like, double strike by freak. Hmm. Okay. Let's go down here. 26 feels okay. What about Sculpting Steel? Do we ever- Do we agree on getting rid of that? Sculpting Steel? This was kinda... 
I think we should give her a sculpting stone. I think it's just gonna get your tokens blocked. Um, okay, I just thought actually Prototype Portal seems like bad news bears. <laughs> okay, so here's the cool thing. Now we're getting below our cuts. So let's get rid of Prototype Portal and Sculpting Steel. And then we have uh, room for more cards. Like instance. Prototype Portal. I don't have much time, but just figured I'd stop in and say, Hi, I hope the stream is going well. Also seen your article on Zexara on TCG Player. Have it saved. Deck looks sweet. Order a copy of Zexara to begin working on the deck soon. Can't wait to try it out. Yay! I'm so excited you like it. Please let me know if it plays very well. Um, I really hope you like it. Let's see. Is it charm? Does everything you might need it to be? Is it charm? Oh, okay. I, I thought you meant like to cut. I was like, are you what? Um, sculpting seal prototype. Where's the sculpting seal? Scorp Skeel and P Portal. I'm like weird shorthanding this. Oh, uh, we're under. We're under budget. Uh, uh, I will when things start to go back to normal and it can get some paper play. And I really fucking Thank you. Please let me know. Who needs it since? I feel like we do. <laughs> I definitely feel like we need it since. And I also really like Hellkite Tyrant. I'll pull the whole tire now. Do you have a budget for this deck? When I meant under budget, I meant like number. No, not really. I just want it to be for the everyday magic player. So this is a good price, I would say. Compared to like the five color deck that will not be named. It sounds like $800. Um, is it charm? Counter target non creature spell. I don't know if we need it. Helka Tyrant is a win condition you haven't cut. Probably should be consistent. Well, like the thing is, I just added the Hellkite Tyrant, and the thing is, with all of our artifacts, we have 24 plus artifact generators. So Psy, Doctor. I don't know. Um, yes or no to the Hellkite Tyrant? Maybe I'm just being weird and I really like Hellkite Tyrant. Probably that I'm being weird. Maybe Brainstorm? I feel like I can keep it. Yeah, but I want I want the, the- There's a difference between me liking it and the deck functioning, you know? So good. I, I, mm -hmm. Cutting Hellkite was a joke. I'm still just salty about Juggernaut. Okay, so like the thing is, I really like Valduk. Y'all don't seem to like Valduk. I don't know if we're cutting Valduk. I don't like Valduk. Press one to cut Valduk. Press two to keep. One to cut, two to keep. One to cut, two to keep. Valduk. I'm gonna keep the card up on here so y'all can decide. One to cut, two to keep, one to cut, two to keep. We have a tie. Two keeps, two cuts. Valka does stuff. Do you all not like Champion of the Flame? But Champion of the Flame is good. It gets 2-2 two -two for each equipment attached to it. Champion of the Flame. I think that's good. I don't want to cut any more creatures. I feel like we're really low on creatures. I think we should stay with the amount of creatures we have. Bada cat cats Pets effectively plus three for every equipment, doesn't he? Champion of Flame and Dark Steel Juggernaut can just kill people. Well, we already cut the Juggernaut. Um, this is so hard. Uh, maybe cutting.
Maybe the welder. I'm not a huge fan of the welder. Choose target artifact a player controls and if both targets are still I don't like the I don't like it. Replace Valdok with Juggernaut. And Juggernaut can be equipped. The other tokens can't. Not goblin so good. I don't like goblin welder. I don't think it's good. If both targets are still legal, don't do the sacrifice of the artifact and return the artifact to the bow. But it just doesn't seem because they they have to have an artifact. I'm like, look at Goblin Welder. I just don't see. Like, I feel really bad because I know y'all are saying, but like, I just don't see it being good. You know, choose target artifact to player controls, and target artifact in that player's graveyard. It just seems so situational. I don't know. Okay, we'll add the Juggernaut. I just don't feel like the... Water lets you swap a token for a card in your graveyard. Is it target player? Or maybe I'm reading that wrong. Okay, that's fair. Okay, okay. Now I see how it's good. Now I see how it's good. I see how it's good. I, I keep on reading it as opponent and not me. So now I see it's good. Now we need to cut another card. Maybe just cutting both instants? I don't know. I really like Champion of a Flame, like, a lot. I really like it. Doesn't do much unless it does. The deck doesn't seem to want creatures to die. Yeah, I don't really want creatures to die. Maybe just, I don't know. Maybe just having the only instant be Psychrift. I don't know. I think we have to run Psychrift. Because then we can just get rid of everybody's things. But we just added Juggernaut. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Champion of the Flame and Juggernaut can just kill people. No. I like Valdo though. This is a hard cut. This is actually a really hard cut. Valdo works if they don't have any blockers. Godo just kills people. We're keeping Godo because if we can help with the host. Any tutors? But we have three tutors right here. Dang it! Mm. Put on the back. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know what to do here. We have 35 lands. I don't feel comfortable cutting anymore. What if we cut Godo and Helm? Okay, what if we cut Godo and Helm? If we cut Godo and Helm, we can add in some more instants. I don't like that, but I think that might be Godo and Helm. It was like for good. Yeah, I don't want us to cut any more lands. God is good. Okay, so we should keep it. No, no, we should keep it. No, okay, no. Ah! <laughs> I hate making cuts. Okay, especially when we have so few incidents. I don't know if people against you appreciate I think it's too good. Okay, maybe you're cutting the mirror retriever. No, okay, mirror retriever, mirror retriever, mirror retriever. Cut mirror retriever. I think that's a good decision. Mirror retriever! I think we're good on recursion. I think we really are good on recursion. I say mirror retriever. Okay, we're keeping it. Okay, we're keeping it. We're keeping it. <sighs> if you're keeping Juggernaut because he just kills people, Godus just wins the game. Um, Lordy, this is this is this is the only thing I don't like about deck building is cuts. Cuts stress me out, like you would not believe. Okay, um. 
We only have two instants. That feels weird to me. So at this point, I feel like Goto is just, if I get him into play and put an equipment and he's, yeah, agreed. So, um, the two instances feel weird. Maybe adding one more. Um, draw two cards. Draw three cards. Discard one of the green. Okay. Maybe cutting thought cast and adding like a brainstorm. What do you think? Thought cast is five mana. And yeah, it costs less for artifacts. But at the same time, I feel like it might be better. I don't know. Instant card draw just feels better than sorcery card draw. I don't want to add bolt. Thought cast will cost one mana. Yeah. <sighs> Brainstorm kind of messes up your next two draws. Yeah. Should we leave it like this? This is crazy with this instance. Yeah, it doesn't. You're right. This is just a lot. Like, the more I'm looking at this, it, like, stresses me out just a wee bit. Um. I know that we were throwing a pull from tomorrow to four mana or two. We were talking about, I have things right here. We were talking about putting in a War of Invention. I want a War of Invention. Eh. What do you think, War of Invention? I don't know about the blue finale. Do we need more card draw? What do you think? We're mechanized. Mechanized. Beauty tokens, copy, change, and I have to go. I think we're just good, but what does it get? Yeah, I mean, I could kind of dump anything into it, really. Maybe one artifact cost more than put in your hand, but that's. Maybe fairy mechanist? No, but that's a creature. That's an enchantment. OMG, run Fumble. Your target, you target your own creature that has everything equipped and then move them to Juggernaut. What is Fumble? Return target creature to its owner's hand. Gain control of all artists and creatures that were attached to it. <laughs> oh. Fumble wouldn't be a bad idea. I could save... Yeah, I could... I really honestly could save my, my things. So someone's like, okay, I'm gonna destroy blah blah blah. I could just, you know. Well, I mean, not. We'll save them because they don't go away like auras, but magnetic theft. That's my magnetic theft. Attach target equipment to target creature to stop them. Now I'm just getting brain hurt. Fumble? Fumble? I think you're right about the whir. Whir doesn't feel right. Fumble? And swap it for something? Maybe? Fumble's worth. One, f one for fumble. One is yes for fumble. Two is no for fumble. One yes, two no. One yes, two no. Why well, look at this and figure out what the heck to cut. One yes, two no. One yes, two no. So far we have three yeses. I'm gonna cut something off. Okay, fumble. A lot of fumble. What do we cut? That's the thing. Fumble. 101 cards. Three feels better. Three looks nicer. Um, maybe cutting a sorcery and leaving it at that. Four yeses for Thumble. Fabricate. Don't look at it. No, 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 no. Fabricate is good. Reshape is essentially just a word of invention. 
So you play Toil Collector, move all cards to him, then fumble Toil Collector, not bad. Oh, that's smart, I like that. Good, 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 good. Um, oh, jeez. <sighs> Are those second cards? I can get them back, I like Scrap Master. Um, that's my side thought cast. This will not my thought. What do we get? What do we get? What? What? Okay, guys, we need one more cut. Just one more cut, and then we're done. <laughs> this is hard. Ah, uh, three, one, two, three. Maybe we should just cut the last mage and call it a day because now we only have three targets. The spike, the sword, the hook. Or a scrap trawler. Or foundry inspector. I say cut the mage. There's not that many targets. And I'd rather tutor over here than have, yeah, I'd rather have the fabricate than that, you know? I'm still saying Valduck, y'all. I, I don't know why I'm like gripping on the Valduck the way I am, but it just does. It just. <sighs> I feel like if I cut Valduck, I will regret it. I really feel like I'm gonna cut Valduck and regret it. Drop champion before Valduck. Champion. What champion? No, the champion's good! I, I also like the champion. If You should build him if you love him this much. I don't want to build him. I just think he's really good in here. <sighs> Jesus. One, to cut Valduk. Two, to cut Mage. 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 And maybe we can. Uh, oh, that's stressing me out. Hmm. I don't like cutting another creature though. But maybe. I assume that layers means that a creature can Colossus Hammer or won't have flying, right? Cut mage. Yeah, but I want to build this with you guys. It's just Vada's case has extra creatures. Yeah, we might not be able to equip them and they would Uh they would be on the ground. Uh, Armory is how it sounds good though. Dang it, we're almost at three hours too. I'm getting any number of murder not blood at all. Water for ash nods. So I'm like Yikes. Um hmm. Why what do you have to buff his toughness? Um, he has flying. There are flyers though, and we don't have a way to get him back because he's not an artifact. Oh. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. I say one, two, three. That's not what we need. Hmm. Artifact card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven targets. Hello, first time viewer, but long time Twitter follower. Hello, welcome. You're about to see me have my like breakdown as I try and figure out what to make for a final cut. Um. Oh my god. Uh, 
Why is this hard? This should not be this hard. Ugin is good. Ugin is good. Your main ram source will help with Ugin. Yeah, but he makes my stuff cost less. Which I like. Because I can cast things for free. And I can also get tokens. Which I like. And I can also... He's also destruction, uh, too. By the way, I do like that. It is that Ugin. That's why I like it. Okay, 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 okay. Cut the $10 affinity card. What? Whenever you play an Art of Expel, you draw a card. He's card draw, though. Mm. But he's card draw. Ugh. I'm sorry, I know I'm making like annoying noises, but I'm actually really struggling to figure out what to cut because everything just feels good. Brass Squire, I like because attach target equipment to you control, target creature control. So that makes my equip cost zilch. I like that. It's too good. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my. Maybe Ethereum Skull? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I draw him with three equipment and Brass Square. Brass Square is cute. I like Brass Square. <sighs> I'm dying here. It's cute. Look at him. He's doing his best. Okay. 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 Brittle Smith. Yeah. I do have to discard a card with Brittle Smith. Let's give it a Brittle Smith. I feel confident about that. I have to discard. I don't like to discard. Where did he go, Riddle Smith? We are already at three hours. Oh my god. Um. Did I move Darius? I'll cut Riddle Smith. That just feels like a good choice. Okay. We're at 100 cards. Okay. Oh my gosh. Lord have mercy. We are now at the end of the night. So we have two things left to do. Look at this deck that I just found. When I say go get ready to throw. That's a lazy town reference. Um, How does this look to you guys? This deck right here. 24 artifacts. 22 creatures. It's a little lower than I would like, but we also have some token generation, so I will be able to pass. Um, three hours. Um, you're like a year younger than me, and you just managed to make me feel old. <laughs> I like Lazy Town. I didn't watch Lazy Town, but I like the memes. You know, like we are number one. Do, 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 do. You also got to do cooking by the book. It's uh, I don't even know the lyrics, but um, I like the the little John remix. Anyway, I would like to remind you my name suggestion is Redfish, gives you wings. I do like that. Um, so before we make the name, how does this look to everybody? I feel much more confident about the number of instants and sorceries. Um, I actually feel pretty good about this. Three, one just felt wrong, but three feels good. We have some decent card drawn here. Psych Rift, Blasphemous Act, I think would be deadly. Um, I like our creatures. We have a good, we have a good mix. We have a wing con in here, and it's also just really big and gross. Um, and also has trample. Um, I like what we have going on here. Just enough gross, I think. Um, I like our planeswalkers. I think they're good choices. So, do you guys really like? What do you think? Do you think? That we are done here. Do you think that we are done here? Building Delicos. You could get rid of Thoughtcast for... 
Bad pointless cards like Valdek are necessary in precons for I guess there could be reasons so it's close enough. No, you're making me feel guilty about Valdek. It's just... <sighs> okay. ASMR bothered me so much for some reason. Sorry about that. If I cut Valduk, what would I put in there? I'm not doing that as I'm not doing that to be like, but like, what would I put in there? What would I put in there? Not Bolt. I'm sorry, no. I can't do Bolt, I'm sorry. No Bolt. Um, are you gonna play this deck on stream, MTGO? I mean, I could in the future, to be honest, I could. Um, this deck is just uh, for my TCG player article, um, which is article series, which is called Always Be Brewing, and also just for my stream, Always Be Brewing. Um, no, I don't want to cut. I don't want to put Bolt in here. I, if we're gonna put anything in here, I'd rather put another creature. That that's my compromise to you. However, Amir has vigilance and flying. Amir. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, but will forever be my pet card. Fair enough. But if we're gonna if we're gonna cut Valduck, I want us to put in a creature. Chalk is run and more decks than Bolt and Modern. What has this world come to? Fair point. Metalwork Colossus. Let me read that. That card has always tricked me up. Metalworker. Oh. Um it costs X less to cast for X is a total of non-creature artifacts you control. You know what? I I I would uh I'd be okay with that. I would be okay with that. I would be okay with that. Thank you for the raid, Dylan. Thank you. Alrighty. I would be okay with that decision to cut Valdeck and put in Metalwork Colossus. I would be okay with that. Hmm. Thank you for the raid. Zero mana, 11 lemon secret, better than three mana, three two. Fair enough, fair point, I agree with that. Is there anything else that you guys would change with this, looking at what we have right here? I do feel better about that now that we sw swapped out Valdic for Metalwork Colossus, because in Emery, I have more artifact creatures, but in this deck, I do not. We actually have more <laughs> non-artifact creatures. That feels right to me. Um, Tuscan Raider noise, Tuscan Raider noise. Um, so earlier you said, cut out Thoughtcast. What did you say? Cut out Thoughtcast for Is It Charm? Did you say? Thoughtcast for Is It Charm. Or am I just completely imagining that? Tuscan Raider noises are indeed satisfying as well. Um, hmm. That cast for Is It Charm. Let me see what Is It Charm does. I used to run that in my Locust Scout deck, but then I dropped it. Is It Charm. Draw two, then discard two. Th but, but Thought Cast is just automatically draw two. There's no discard. Omniscience. Oh my god. Um, Is It Charm can be draw, can be removed, can be counter. Well, the removal on Is It Charm is just so minimal. It's only, what, two damage? The flexibility does make it good, but at the same time, it's just like the two damage is like very little. And when you don't have any other counter spells in here, I would rather just have the card draw and have it be, um, what's the improvised draw spell? I think it draws three. I might be wrong. Um, we have affinity for artifacts, uh, thought cast, but, um, that's not how you spell improvise. Not improvise. That's not what I wanted. Um, let's go to advanced search here. Improvise. Um, uh, I'm not saying that. Oh, three cards. Reverse engineer. 
Being able to have one card in your deck that might counter Vandalblast could be well worth it. Fair. Fair. It's not creature too. Okay. Should we add in a reverse engineer? Now we're just... Ah, now we're back to basics here. Do I have... Oh, I do! I have the promo version. I actually really like the promo version. Um, Vandal Blast and Vandal Blast is run in almost, in almost any red deck. At least I run it in every red deck I own because I do like Vandal Blast. Um, so let me find where I put Thoughtcast. Charm. Okay. Uh, cost an extra bloom requires tapping, but you get one more card from Thoughtcast, and you do. Cure three, put them top down. Inspiring Statuary does sound sweet. It improves are really good with equipment because it's just free things to tap. Okay, so, um. Now we gotta cut one more card. Cut one more card. Cut thought cast for that. I already did cut thought cast. I cut thought cast for the is it charm. But I can take out the is it charm and keep reverse engineer. Yeah. So I added is a charm and reverse engineer. So I did two cards. So I gotta cut one. I could cut gamble, but I like gamble because it is a gamble. But cut your weakest ramp card. Do I have a ramp card? Bye, friend. Be safe. Sleep well. Get some rest. Um. Hmm. 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 Cut my biggest ramp card. And the talisman. Do you have a mind stone or hedron archive? We cut hedron archive already. No mind stone. I do like gamble. Um. Don't have any of those. God, this is the longest one we've done yet. Even longer than the five color. Stream. Um, hmm. Cut. Soul Ring. <laughs> it finally comes to it. You want to cut Soul Ring. Hmm. It feels wrong because it's an artifact deck, but. I'm not opposed. It's just so funny that we're doing it. Okay. So now that we are done, we are done. How does this look now? Does this look better? I think this actually does look better. Um, so if you guys are fantastic, we have a fantastic in chat. This does feel good. So my question to you guys is now that we are done with our Dalekos deck, Crafter of Wonders. What do we name it? As always, I do like to name this with you guys. So far, we have had literally A plus names for this entire stream series. Fantastic nicknames, Soul Ties, Sick and Boy, um, Cycling is My Passion, uh, Solve for X, all fantastic names. So, um, let's chat on stream on what's today's date? It is the 5th. So we have Redfish Gives You Wings. Let's see. Redfish Gives You Wings. Which I do really like that one. I want to see other ones in chat, but I do like Redfish Gives You Wings. What do you say? Drop them down in chat. Oh. Thinking is hard. I think we might just go with Redfish Gives You Wings. I do like that a lot. We did have one fish, two fish, red blish, blue fish in chat earlier. I remember that at the beginning of chat. But I do like red fish gives you wings because they get flying. And he's a red fish. 
<laughs> I like that one. No one will have any clue why you named Delicos. Thinking is hard. <laughs> okay, okay. So one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Um, three for three. <laughs> so guys, in chat, let's vote real quick. Type a one for red fish gives you wigs. Type a two for one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I know where my vote is, but I'm not going to say it until y'all vote. So one for the Red Bull, two for the Dr. Seuss. And then we will be good. One, one, one. Okay. I'll give you guys 20 more seconds. So I'll give you guys until, let's see. Alrighty. Do, 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 one. Done. Okay. Redfish gives you wings. And that is our deck name. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is our longest one yet. Three hours and 15 minutes later. And here we are. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to do some things here very quickly. Someone needs to make sure I don't pick the winning name. Next <laughs> always be brewing. You have come up with some really good ones, so I have to say bravo to you. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, let's see. Okay, there we go. So I'm instead going to do this, because now we're at the end of the stream, where I get to do my ever so lovely spiel. So give me 10 seconds to add a picture of our commander while I do that, because I don't have my second screen yet, so I can't toggle back and forth like I wish I could. Yoink. There he is. Little cutie patootie. Yoink. Cool. There he is. Dacos. That was our brew! Was chat not going throughout the entire stream? Is it not going? Let's see. Was it not going? Okay, cool. I was getting a little worried that it wasn't showing up at all during stream, and that would have been really sad because I could have put just Dalakos over there and have y'all see it. Maybe I'll put the card over here next time. Maybe I'll put him, like, here next time. We'll see. We're s it's still a work in progress. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that was a long stream. And as always, it was a very fun stream. We actually created a very fantastic and fun, um commander like that was actually a lot harder than i expected um and that goes to show you kind of building outside of your comfort zone lately with these decks i've been building way outside of my comfort zone i've discovered that my comfort zone in commander and brawl lies firmly within tokens i love tokens um actually it just I, I get the very good feels and the fuzzy vibes with token so the fact that we're putting so much effort into this and, you know, you guys are willing to have this conversation with me and work on this with me it makes me feel like I'm going to become a better deck builder as time goes on because it kind of pushes me outside my comfort zone. So, oh, without further ado, let's do our fun outros. So, first of all, hello. Well, goodbye. My name is Chase, also known as Mana Curves. You can find me Mana Curves everywhere. Um, I am most active on Twitter where I do uh, fun magic tweets and kind of post my content out into the aether. That's kind of where I am rooted, Twitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop down my little, let's see, my little my little things. There's my Twitter right there. I also have a Discord that you should check out that is open to the public, although there are specific channels that are locked off only for patrons. So if you wanna get the access to those exclusive channels, then you should definitely become a patron today. Um, as for Patreon, I will drop my Patreon down below. I have since tweaked my Patreon a lot. I mean, it has changed quite a bit, so I'm going to give a little bit of spiel about that. There are four tiers to my Patreon. Um, the first two tiers and the last two tiers both mirror each other. So the first two tiers are the same, and the second two tiers are different, but they're the same. 
which doesn't make sense, but it will when I speak. So tier number one is called Groundling Tier. For just a dollar a month, you get a one-time shout-out on my Twitch stream. Um, the month that you become a patron. And you also get exclusive uh, content on the Discord. Then there is um, Noble Tier, which is $3 a month. You get the one-time shout-out the month you become a patron. And you also get exclusive content on the Discord. The upcharge is just, you know, if you feel like you can you know show a little bit more support that's a really great way to do it. it's just an extra little added support to me which helps me out as a creator swimmingly i might add um let's see then there is quick tier which is five dollars a month for five dollars a month you get um a shout out every single time i stream you also get a signed token of me by england customs jess you should check her out um and you also get the exclusive content on the discord and then uh lenalendra tier you get the signed token the shout out every uh every time i stream and you also get the um, Discord content as well. That is just $10 a month and it's just, you know, the highest way that you can show support for me. I really appreciate it. If you cannot, I completely understand, but any little support goes. If you want to have access to um, all of my uh, content right here, let's see, I think it's links. There it is. If you want to have con access to all of my socials, which includes um, my Streamlabs tip jar, my Twitter, my YouTube, my Twitch, my Amazon wish list, which is actually why I have this donation bar up above me. Um, my Amazon wish list consists mostly of pieces for a new computer I am trying to build because my computer is a bit of a groaner and is having significantly um, big issues as of late, which is very disheartening. Um, so if you want to donate, you can totally donate either through the Streamlabs tip jar, um, which I will now link right here, or if you want to click the uh, link tree, the link tree will also link you up to that stuff let's see i am also sponsored by the lovely folks at tcg player i am also a writer for tcg player which sounds absolutely bananas amazing and i love it um if you want to support me as a content creator even just by clicking it click that link right there that just shows support for me as a content creator if you buy stuff it's even better with that link if not even just clicking it helps me i also have a fantastic article about um always be brewing that i did last week about zexara um, which we did on stream together and it got written into an article and it's absolutely fantastic and it got put on the commander website so you should check it out um i'm also sponsored by the wonderful folks at ultra pro so you should definitely check them out once the quarantine is over we will be doing some fantastic awesome giveaways with ultra pro products so you should definitely keep an eye out for that in the future um i also stream <laughs> i have a long spiel i'm sorry i also string Always Be Brewing, which is a deck building stream on Tuesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Then I do Brawl on Wednesdays on Arena, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And then I do um, my Paper Commander series called Filthy Casuals on Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern as well. And I have a fun rotating cast. It's absolutely fantastic and fun. So you should check it out. Um, and I believe that is it. So without further ado, I'm going to give a shout out to all of my fantastic patrons. Because it is a new month. It is May, which means new month, new shout outs everybody so it's gonna be a long spiel so i apologize because we got some names to go through here Whew. shout out to aiden brock uh elaine chow alk alters uh schmandrew art anthony robinson austin mathis bertram williams blake mcconnell carlton parsons colin castler cyrus manesh david kelkis delaney murphy douglas Booker, eric landes eric hoff um good names were taken greg robinson ian Dittman, josh and convincing name lutz joshua Ickenberry, katie Lou Delcoste, Mariano Munoz, McLean Anderson, MTG Tonight, Nanner Stout, Nico Broggs, Popper Tastic, Roberto Alvarez, Sean Katzman, Sebastian Blackwell, Seraph Six, Soleil Panda, Travis Miller, and William Sides. Whoo, that's a lot of names. But I appreciate it so much because all of this that you guys are sending me goes back into the content creation. I'm going to be saving up money to try and get. A brand new computer so it's gonna be a lot of money but unfortunately a thousand dollars is in the price of uh, parts so if you want to help support me you know become a patron on patreon you know I have an Amazon wish list if you want to just outright buy the thing or if you want to just support me by clicking my TCG player article literally anything helps so oh my gosh thanks you guys so much for joining me on another wonderful evening on another wonderful always be brewing stream it is late I need to eat dinner I only eat after I stream because I'm a uh, irresponsible person but this is the longest stream for always be brewing that you did and i think it's a really good deck and i'm really excited to write about it the deck will be coming out well the article will be coming out on sunday 
um, sometime in the morning to afternoon. And we'll come out every single Sunday, and I stream on Tuesday, so there's coming out same week. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And thanks you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful night. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Practice social distancing. Wear your mask and wear it above your nose. None of this. Always up here. Okay? Alright. You guys have a wonderful night. And I'm going to go and um, wander aimlessly around my kitchen in search of mac and cheese. So, bye guys!